you can't have been in life But this is the vibe We're just fine with perfect time It's nurtured right Them man there be learning life Rehearsing life Trust me, far from certified Acting while you sleep, I'm working nights I want all the ups to feel like that dirty guy on Merseyside Yes, guys. Yes, people. Big up everybody that's locked in. Um, my mic's working. I, I think it's working. We're not going to have any technical difficulties like we did at the start of the last stream, but we're here. We are back. <coughs> Throat is still fucked. Can't be arsed. And I just spilt my lot my lottery um, tickets from the third kit lottery that we are going to do today's stream. I haven't forgotten this time. Big up everybody that's in here though. Like, subscribe. Give me a sec. I just dropped a few names. I don't want uh, anyone potentially missing out. So yeah, big up everybody that's locked in. Like and subscribe. Um, plenty to get into. We have nearly made three signings before January. Fucking mad. And we're going to get into all of that in today's video. Jem's in here as well. He must have finished off his stream too. Big up yourself, my guy. Hope you're good. Enjoy your holiday as well, my friend. Enjoy it. Enjoy every minute, bruv, because you're coming back to Chelsea afterwards and it's a bit long from then. But big up yourself, my friend. Hope your stream went well. I enjoyed the Graham Potter discussion as well. And yeah, big up yourself, my G. Big up. Um, When should we do this? I'll probably do this lottery just before I send the link out to the panel because I want the viewers to go up a little bit because let's say you win and you don't even know that you've won. You're not going to message me about it. So we'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll get into it. Yeah, big up everybody that's in here. We've got over a hundred of you guys in here already. So you know what that's got to mean. That's got to mean a hundred likes plus. Big up everybody. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are saying. Um, check out Jerseys FC. For all your best affordable football kits, like the third kit that's going to be in the lottery. Um, like the Brazil kit that you saw as well from yesterday. They do um, countries as well as club kits. And you can get name prints on the back too. So they do everything over there. And if you want a nice little code, use my name. Carefree Lewis G gets yourself 20% off on all purchases. <coughs> right, let's see what everyone is saying. Throat is still fucked, but we move. Our top source here has told us that Chelsea approach Neymar's camp in Qatar. What? Why have I not read nothing about this? We're, we're linked with Neymar again. Mad. That should have been my thumbnail. Fuck. Skip the beat with that. My school, my source is clear that our owners spent some time with some reps of Neymar in his camp. Probably just gauging any interest from the player. I don't know if there's a lot to go with this one. <laughs> Um, obviously, if it was an available option, of course, my mic wasn't going to last for too long, but we fucking moved. But yeah, that is mad. I didn't notice that. I didn't see any links of Neymar, but shit, let me get this cover off as well, because that's just pissing me off. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out on that. I'll bring that back up when the rest of the panel come on. Um, they spent some time with his reps at the World Cup. Boley and Igbali took opportunities to meet and spend time with a number of top agents in world football. Sounds like they're networking again. Sounds like they're networking. And, yeah, that's that's good for them. That's good for them. But it's too speculative to go into anything about that. Okay? They could have been talking about a range of topics, about a range of players. It all depends on what we see. But, as always, appreciate yourself for bringing up um, topics to the stream. Chelsea will still push for a new sporting director. That explains why we haven't gone in for one yet. It's either going to be Michael Edwards or Luis Campos, but they're waiting to see which one makes themselves available first. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, it's actually Chelsea from a Premier League point of view making the inquiries for Vlavic, and we know they need a striker as well. Vlavic, I've been saying, is a good long-term option for us, but right now he doesn't change anything. He still has to rely on mountain habits. And they're not going to create nothing for him. So it's not going to change too much with us. But if we're talking about a rebuild, Vlatovic is the sort of player I would like to see at the end of the rebuild. So bring him in, but don't jump to conclusions over what he's going to do. But there is plenty to get into. On top of that, we're going to be discussing Jorginho contract talks again. 
Um, Andre Santos and Datro Fafana. Here we go in the space of under 24 hours. Also, Edward Mendy rejecting a six-year contract. I don't know what's madder. Mendy rejecting it or Chelsea offering it. But we'll discuss that because why? Why, why the fuck are we offering him six years? I, I, I don't get it at all, but we'll delve into it. We'll delve into it. Ah, finish my drink. Right, let's see what everyone's saying. Um, big up everybody in here though. Attila, Luai, 0.44. Um, Abian, um, 0.44 again. Um, Texas Blue, Immigrant. Fucking hell, bro. That name's mad. Um, Taha, big up yourself. Charlie, who is this new signing? We'll delve into it. We'll delve into it. Luca, Sean, Jem, as always, big up yourself, bro. Um, <coughs> Yeah, bro, I'm cautiously excited too. I'm not jumping to conclusions, but I like what the players looks like already. But what he does in England will be two completely different things. Um, Viz, big up yourself. Um, Faniel, um, Steve, big up yourself. Yeah, gem streams are always good. Shame I ain't gonna see another one till 2023. But hey, we might have won a few games by then. It might be a bit more optimistic. You never know. Um, big up Mark. Big up Jordy saying up the tune. Big up Newcastle. Unbelievable night out. Declared. Big up yourself, my guy. Big up, bro. Um, hey, Lewis. Chelsea are back in four days. Yay. Yay. Who knows? We might win. We might win. Um, what else is everyone saying? Big up OG, my guy. We should sign Neymar if he's available. If he is available, go in. <coughs> Go in for him immediately. But does that change who we look for long term? Like if we go for Neymar, do we end up going for a Liao? Do we end up going for a Vlahovic? Because there's only so many spots you can fit. And Cuckoo's already coming in. Vlahovic could be coming in. If you bring in Neymar, then it's either Liao or Vlahovic. Because only one of them is going to play in the nine. So... It all depends on what Chelsea's um, strategy is going to be. Because I wouldn't blame them for going for, ne for Neymar. If they said no to him over going for a Liao, I could see that as well. So, yeah. Have to, have to play it by ear. Because there's only so many transfers you can make. There's only so many. What's his contract saying as well? While we're on the topic. What's Neymar's contract? Um... Three year deal expires in 2025. Okay, they could still ask for a high fee for him. All depends on what Chelsea do. I wouldn't put it against them going for Neymar, but then I just think the likes of Liao is a bit unrealistic in that case. Big up OG, big up GoAM saying my idol is going to Liverpool, then he'll never get injured because he'll be benched by Milderson. My Christmas gift came early. Mount, Mount ain't definitely ain't going to be another bench warmer. That's a fact. That's a fact. But if he goes to Liverpool, I'm not going to say I want it, but I would like to witness the chaos that would come with it. I would definitely love to witness it. I am an agent of chaos, people. And I can't lie, it would just be fucking hilarious. Hilarious. Um, Yeah, yeah, we offered him six years. and And that's what scares me, because... Why the fuck are we offering Mendy six years? And if that's the case, who else are we going to offer six years to? If fucking... I could see anybody under the age of 30 now being offered a six-year deal. Because it's just unrealistic. And, and then the, the guy said no. Mendy said no because it wasn't close enough to Kepa's wages. I, I've been saying Mendy's going to be the first one to leave out the two. Because he's going to demand Kepa's wages and neither of them deserve to be on those wages. And we're not going to make the same mistake twice. Mendy simply put just needs to play at that level and then maybe you would justify it. But his form has been so shit for so long. I don't want to see him on a six-year deal. I don't want to see him on Kepa's wages because I don't have the confidence he's going to maintain that level anymore. <coughs> Add to that the fact that Potter likes a goalkeeper that can play out the back. And Mendy is horrendous at playing out the back. I don't want this. 
It doesn't make sense. Why the fuck did we offer him six years? The only saving grace in this news is that maybe we offered this to him when Tuchel was in charge. Maybe. And if that was the case, I could be a bit more understanding. If it's had anything to do with since with us offering that since Potter's come in, shit. I don't know what to say, bro. I don't know what to say. But we'll see. We'll see. I hope we don't offer him another contract. He took his L with that one. Now, respectfully, you can leave because your form ain't good enough. Your form is not good enough. But we'll see how the we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, isn't Mendy 30 or something? Is he 30? Is he 30? Yeah, he is. Shit, he's about to turn 31. Yeah, no, no. Nope, I'm good. Big up fresh kid Steven. Hope you're good. Hope you're good, bro. <coughs> I can't lie, though. I've been on rope watch since my idol got benched by Southgate. But then after the final, I'm here to celebrate Penal Dogs being on rope watch. Yo, every Ronaldo stand turned into a Messi stand overnight. It's peak. If there's ever been a bigger dagger into Ronaldo's heart, all of his fans are now Messi fans. It's peak, bro. It's peak. But hey, that ain't my goat. I know who my goat is. And yeah, we move. Big up Eden. Big up Eden. Um, what else is everyone saying? Um, big up Rams. Big up Mitchy boy. Hope you're good, guys. Big up Mark. Big up Dylan. Hope you guys have a very good Christmas. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. Harrison Hunter as well. Big up yourself, my friend. Everyone hit the like button, by the way, because we haven't, we're still under a hundred. We're still under 100 likes. And you lot know that ain't good enough, people say. Hit the like button. Um, Ram says, no, thank no, we insist. We insist, my friend. We insist. No, we insist. We insist. Um, Yeah, Datro Fafana is, uh, is undergoing the medical. I know we got the here we go today. Did Fabrizio say anything about a medical? He said, um, done deal, here we go, full agreement between all parties, and the deal is sealed for 12 million euros, which is a great fee. Again, low risk, high reward. We're looking for unsigned hype, and we've got him. We've got him. Looks like a very good long-term option for Chelsea. Obviously needs to realise his potential as well, but I do think he has the frame for the Premier League. He's got the PMP in him. Um, like I've said earlier, he looks good in tight spaces, has a good finish, good positioning in the box. We do still need more creators if we want to get the best out of him, but he does look capable of thriving in the Premier League. He just has to put that into practice. He's going to go straight into the first team, again, as a Brozier replacement. Nothing about being a main starter. I think he'd only be a starter if we really just close off the season and we're just playing for pride. But as a long-term option, looks good. Just need to see how he performs in England. We just need to see how he performs in England. I do think it's a very low-risk, high-reward sort of transfer. If he doesn't ball out, we haven't really lost anything. We could probably still sell him for a profit in spite of that. If he balls out, brilliant. We might have two great strikers at our squad if Roja can get back to his um, to realising his potential as well. But we have to see how it develops. I don't want to blow smoke up you guys' ass. I'm not saying Drogba regen or Eto regen or anything like that. Just be the first Datra for Fana. Let's see how you stamp your impact on Chelsea and we'll see how you perform. No overhyping, people. No overhyping. Let's not do it. We set ourselves up for disappointment all the time. Let's just see how he performs when he comes to Chelsea. Um, No, no. Keep that hippo as far away from my football club as possible. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Um, Sell Mendy. Sell Mendy. Yeah, Mendy will be the first one to go, guys. He'll be the first one to go. We can, We physically cannot get rid of Kepa. We put him up for 30 million in the summer and nobody came for him because of his wages. Like, we are stuck with Kepa until his contract's done. So the next goalkeeper that we bring in needs to be good enough to be on 150k minimum. And it's not Mendy. 
So Mendy will be the one that leaves. I'm not that worried about it. I don't think we're going to give him a wage that's stupid. God forbid we give him a wage that's stupid. But we'll see. We'll see. But Mendy, I wouldn't worry too much about. He took his L. He didn't sign that contract. He's probably going to leave. We move. Crazier to offer six years or turn down six years? See, I could understand it from Mendy's point of view. Maybe he thinks he should be, he shouldn't be earning less than Kepa. And you could have an argument about that. But with the same breath, he shouldn't be on 150k a week. It's not his fault that Kepa's on it, but it doesn't mean we should be giving you that either. It just is what it is. If you don't want to take the lower wage, peace. Peace. Didn't we give Kula Bali four to five years? Yeah, but like Kula Bali's in his first <coughs> Kula Bali's in his first season. And I'm still personally gonna give him time to adapt to the speed of the Premier League. Like I've seen in the World Cup, I've seen in individual games. For Chelsea, especially in a back four, he is a quality centre-back. He's just not adjusting well to the speed of the Premier League and he needs time to get better. But I do believe he can. I'm going to wait to see how time proves it or disproves it, but I'm not that worried about Koulibaly. I still think he can be a quality centre-back for us in the future. Genuinely think he can. And I think he can give us four to five years of good service. But obviously we have to see. We have to see. They're giving him six years so he can't leave for free. Yeah, don't give him six years then. Give him two. If that's the idea. Um, What else is everybody saying? Bro, bro thought Mendy was in his early 20s. That's mad. That is mad. Um, Big up summer. Hope you're good, bro. Hope you're good. Love Christmas. Less workload and more time to watch streams. Yeah, I also get to see the family and Christmas and all of that. And it's the last days before Chelsea come and ruin the end of 2022. But we move, we move. Um, Where's the Christmas decorations? You're right, you know. You're right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put something on the sides or something. Have a little tree up. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll sort something. But yeah, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Um... We should still go in for Vlaovic. I agree, but I would also like to see us focus on our midfield first. I'm not going to be pissed if Vlaovic comes in. I do think he's a quality striker. He'd be the best striker that we have. I just don't think it changes anything. Because we barely make chances. We make like one a game. Until we get better creators, until we get a better midfield sorted, Vlaovic ain't doing shit. But we can bring in Vlaovic sort out everything else, and then we have a good striker at the end of it. So that works for me just as fine. Um, Sell Mendy, but don't bring Sanchez or Martinez, please. Sanchez I'm not too surprised by, because I don't think he's all that. I think he's decent on the ball, decent shot stopper, but we should be looking a little bit higher than him. Martinez, um, let me know you, your thoughts on him. I think he's a quality goalkeeper, to be honest, but... <coughs> if you see aspects in his game that you don't like, let me know. Um, suck with Kepa. He is good. He's he's not Chelsea quality. You can say good if you want, but like, what do you define as good? When we're, we're not stuck, we are stuck with him. We are we can't get rid of him. We did our best to get rid of him in the summer, and we couldn't do it. Um, yeah, I I think he's done good this season but like i still don't really trust him like that like it's been a nice run of games but shit i've seen a year and a half of you being utter trash i need more than that i need more than that right now you're just better than mendy that doesn't say a lot doesn't say a lot um what else is everyone saying Hopefully, whatever bad habits or weaknesses he has a, as a youngster can be coached out. I don't really know what his weaknesses are anyway. So, we just have to see on that. He could be very raw when he comes to the Premier League, like Abrosia, where he has the frame, he has the physicality, but the IQ and the decision-making is still not really there yet. But we have to see. We have to see. 
right now is very speculative. I've only seen the good sides of him. Once we see him play for Chelsea, we'll see the bad sides as well, and we can make our own assessments from that. Um, fair enough, Galib. But happy holidays. Happy holidays, I guess. But big up yourself, bro. Um, going to the Bournemouth game. Yes, I will be. I will be at the Bournemouth game. I'll be drinking my sorrows away afterwards. Um, and big up Charlie. Big up, bro. Big up. What else is there? We didn't speak on Andre Santos. Chelsea have a full verbal agreement in place to sign Brazilian talent Andre Santos. Final fee around 20 million euros and personal terms are agreed to. Chelsea and Vasco will now prepare the documents and Andre will be part of Chelsea Talents Project very soon. He's given the here we go. And between Fafana and Santos, we are getting a lot of work done very quickly. It's very optimistic, but obviously I need to see the midfield in too. I need to see long-term midfield options. Now, Andre Santos does sort that out for us now, but I don't know if he goes straight into the first team or if it's going to be like a Cassady sort of transfer where he goes into development squad. So I don't know if that helps sort out our midfield options right now. But it's one for the future. It's another future transfer. And I'm seeing a pattern as well. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I've noticed it. We're going for physically strong players. We're going for players with that PMP in their game. Kasady, um, Chakumeka, um, Andre Santos, Fafana. They all come with the PMP tag. And we said that's been a big weakness of this Chelsea side. We're not the only ones that have noticed it. I think the Chelsea board have noticed it too. And it's been a big part of of scouting and what we've been looking for in terms of future prospects. Usually plays a box-to-box -box midfielder. His best traits are driving the ball quickly due to his frame. Um, he's been likened to a Chuameni or a final form Torre or final form Loftus-Cheek before the injuries. Obviously, if he reaches that level, I'm not saying he's there yet. Though I, I don't want to blow smoke up you guys' ass, but if everything goes to plan, that's the sort of player that he should be like. Right now, his passing's simplistic. It's not very flashy, but he helps build up play and he can play between the lines. He's played as a lone DM before as well, so he understands the position. But first and foremost, he is a box-to-box -box midfielder. From what I've read as well, apparently he's got a decent finish on him too. And what else did I see? Um, often pops up with a goal. Considered top three talents in Brazil alongside Endrick and Victor Rock. Victor Rock or Roque, I don't know, but we're linked with him as well. Shock. Um, similar style to Jude Bellingham and Lavia. I feel like people are just putting names on him now at this point. We'll see how he plays for Chelsea before we make any judgment calls. But it's a good talent. It's a good talent for us to take. And hopefully he reaches his potential. Hopefully he reaches his potential. I really don't want to say too much and then start hyping him up to be the next Torre or anything. Let's just see how he plays. But he looks very good on the ball. Very good on the ball for his age. Um, Galib says Martinez XG is minus four. That means he didn't save four clear savable shots. That's a, the worst XG in the league. Mendy has minus three. Ah, may, may, maybe Martinez ain't all that. Maybe Martinez ain't all that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's a very good point, Galib. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. So, Kepa's not good enough, but Mart Hey, Martinez might not be, to be honest. He might not be, but Kepa definitely isn't good enough. He isn't good enough. Sorry. We, we have had Kepa for four years. Like, that's more than enough time to gauge and have a judgment on a player. Martinez, to be fair, only really seen him in phases in the World Cup. And might be a victim of World Cup tax. So we don't know. We don't know. Um, you learn not to compare players after Loftus-Cheek with Bala. I don't know. Loftus-Cheek ain't really fair. Because we were starting to see him realise his potential in 18-19. And then he got that st stupid injury in one of the worst timed friendlies in one of the worst pitches ever. And it just killed him. So I can't really criticize Loftus Cheek and say we overhyped him because he was one of our best players in 1819. 
He was genuinely unplayable in the last few months before that injury. It's just the injury killed him. Um, that's not his fault. That's not his fault. Um, what else is everybody saying? Yeah, big up deals, my guy. Big up, big up. Um, Santos, young Brazilian. That's what matters. Chelsea's trying to build a reputation of taking care of young Brazil. I think Chelsea are just focusing more on the Brazilian market. I don't know if they're trying to build a reputation of anything. It's just there's been a lot of talent that's that's in that market that a lot of clubs are looking at, and Chelsea want to be the first one in there. Um, Gonda, Bono, Levakovic looks good. Levakovic looks really good, and I think he's around 25 to 30 mil. So that's a very realistic move that you could make. Um, big up all in the chat. Busy shopping. See you on Chelsea Dan stream tonight. Oh shit, Chelsea Dan's live. I might have to have a look onto that. Um, Lewis, let's wait. Hope you say this in the chat in this channel. In the past, we've had young under twenty Brazilians. Oscar Kennedy. Let's just wait again. I, that's why I don't want to blow smoke up anybody's ass. I don't want to say. He's going to be the next Torre or anything. No, he's been likened to it if he reaches his potential. Let him get there first before we do it. But yeah, that's a very good disclaimer to make. Um, Anything else? Anything else? Oh, yeah, we got over 350 in there. I think we can do the lottery. Um, Yeah, so winner of the third kit lottery. Let's see who it is. Just going to stir it a little bit so you lot don't think I'm just picking... And choosing myself. Right. Who do we have? Dyke. Dyke Azike. I think it. I'll, I'll know you if I see you in the comments. But yeah, you've won a third kit, my friend. You've won a third kit. So big up yourself, my guy. DM me on Instagram or Twitter. And yeah, send me your address and I'll send you over a third kit. Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Christmas. Good. Now I don't have to forget to do that one again. But yeah, we've got our third kit lottery winner. Big up yourself, Dyke. Big up, bro. Um, yeah, Villa's, Villa increasing their stadium to 50,000. Yeah, um, another ground that'll be bigger than us. Great. Fucking great. I think they're bigger than us already. I'm not too sure. Have I spoke about that Spanish midfielder from Sosa? Yeah, we spoke about Zubi Mendy on yesterday's stream. Technically sound midfielder. Really good at the one v one drills, um, long and short passes. Looks like a realistic transfer as well, but it's only just come out of the blue, so I don't know how far we are in terms of that deal, or if it's just interest, or if it's just interest. But we have to see. We have to see. I can't say too much for right now. Um, cool. Let me see what else everyone's saying. Yeah, um, big up Dyke. If you're in here, bro, um, I'll, I'll see if you're in here in a sec anyway, because you usually end up commenting. <coughs> it's always unfair when people say Cho and Loftus Cheek were overhyped and they both had huge injuries. I agree on that. I agree. Because Loftus Cheek was realizing his potential. I think Cho, it was. Still a bit early, like it was his first or second full season in the first team where he started getting injuries. And he had only just started getting regular game time too. But I think overhyped is the way people hype them up now or the way people hype them up a year ago or something along the lines of that. But I get what you're trying to say. I get what you're saying. What's your thoughts on Mount's contract extension? Seems he doesn't want to extend for seven years. He wants more money. I think he wants assurances over his position as well. That's fair enough. But him negotiating for 200 to 300k when you're playing like this, I don't agree with. I've, I've said that for a while. I do not agree with it at all. Do you still think we'll go for Trossard? Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Um, I don't know if we get him, but we'll see. We'll see. I do think it's a realistic one, though. Because a contract is potentially expiring at the end of the season. He understands Potter's style of play. And Potter got the best out of him. So I could see him come to us. Um, not sure about that Spanish guy. 
Mendy's passing is shocking. Imagine men. <laughs> oh, you're taking a piss, bro. Um, big up Ibs, big up, bro. Um, Galib says, looks like Jorginho's staying. F from what I from what I'm hearing, I'm seeing different. Um, Nathan Gissing said Jorginho and his agent have made it clear that their priority is to extend with Chelsea. So far, everything is quiet. No official talks between his camp and Chelsea as of now. And the internal feeling is that Jorginho and Kante are likely to leave on free transfers. From what we read, like there was some talks, but Jorginho wanted a bit of a pay rise. Now I'm not so sure. We have to see what happens in January. Allegedly, both are trying to assess their options, but we're hearing a lot of different things on Jorginho. Apparently, his main aim is to re-sign with Chelsea. Apparently, he's looking for new options. Apparently, he wants more money. Apparently, he wants the same one. I don't know. We're hearing so many different things. I can't tell you which one's the legit one. This one, you just have to let play out and see what happens. I've said, I think we could do with Jorginho's experience in the dressing room. And I think he's a good bench option for us next season. I don't think he should start for us in general from next season. But I think he's a good rotation option. And I keep saying, I think bringing him off the bench when Chelsea's in a winning position to see games out would be a good role for him. But same way, if we let him go, that's fine as well. And we'd rebuild and we'd move on. Jorginho shouldn't be a starter for us. He shouldn't be a, um option that we heavily rely on next season anyway. Because I see a decline in him. I see a decline in N'Golo Kante too. So both could be rotation options. But both we can live without and we should be learning to live without as well. So it, it all depends on what happens. All depends on what happens. For me, Cho's hype was because of buying 70 mil. Simple reason for that is they sought Dortmund with a talented English talent and got jealous. That's when Dortmund were bridging the gap. That's the reason for the massive contract, which kind of has been the start of fucking up our wage structure. But I guess we couldn't really account for an Achilles injury out of nowhere. Is what it is. Um, will you contact the authorities to seize Russian firearms after Graham Pulis renews J5? I think you just need to find protection for Graham Potter, but we move. Um, Long-term injuries have really affected us. I'm scared about Broja being next. It's too early to call. Like I'm a bit worried about his agility and his explosiveness because that's what his style of play heavily relied on. That's where I saw him improving on because having a player of that speed and that, and that strength and that frame is ridiculous. But it's, it's too early to say. He could come back and nothing could change. He could come back and be clunky as fuck. We don't know. We have to see. We have to wait and see. Stream after Jorginho gets extended. You see the vibes, bro. You see the vibes. Um, Let's talk about Lewis. Cho's contract is one of the worst in our squad. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And that's why I'll probably end up leaving because he'll ask for the same wages and Chelsea won't give it to him again. God forbid they do because he's not at that level and he's not been playing at that level. So I hear what you're saying. It is one of the worst in our squad. But we have to see. We did speak about this yesterday as well. He, he hasn't agreed it, but he's assessing his options and he could potentially agree a pre-contract with Barcelona. I'd be not too surprised if they do it because... Kante does want the same wages, and Barcelona are historically bad financially. So I could easily see that one happen. But if it does, big up. You're a legend. But we move, and we will move, and we'll be fine. Do you think this current squad is capable of making top four? Nope. Nope, I've been saying that. I think if we even make top six, then, yeah, big up Potter for that, and big up the squad. But I don't think we're doing it. I think it's about next season for us. If we can make top four, I, I want to look at who, who bottled it. I want to look at who dropped off and they need to hang their heads in shame. But right now, we aren't in a position for top four. Newcastle are way better than I thought they would be. Spurs are continuing to get results. Man United are 
progressing at a much quicker rate. So I don't know who would drop off. If I could see anybody drop, it would be Tottenham. Like, that's it, though. Like, that's it. And even then, I don't know if we'd be able to overtake United. I really don't know. So, no, I don't think we'd make top four. I don't think we made top four. Um, who do you think will perform in the second half of the season? I don't know. I can't say for me. Havertz. There we go. We're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, hopefully Havertz does. But we have to see. We know we know he's good for a March purple patch, but I need to see if a little bit more than that. But yeah, yeah, I don't know who will perform. I can't I can't guarantee anything. Does Paul concern you? Not really. The squad's more of a concern for me. I think Potter needs to grow into this role. He needs to understand the responsibilities and he needs to handle the press room a lot better. But he ain't my biggest issue right now. It's the players. I don't think any manager gets more out of these players. I just think the squad ain't good enough and it needs a complete overhaul. And I'll trust Potter to be the guy to do it. A lot of people rated Potter when he was at Brighton. It's only because he's at Chelsea now. I don't think that they rate him as much. We have to see. We have to see. Um, Lap says Havertz. Well, I hope he does have a good second half of the season because we fucking need it. We definitely need it. <coughs> Imagine PSG rolling up to Newcastle. Newcastle will take half their squad, bro. Um, <laughs> you ain't serious, bro. <coughs> but I am a bit worried about the low block as well. <clears throat> but hey, when the March purple patch comes... Maybe it'll be decisive and lead to a good a good few performances. Maybe. Just maybe. Um let me see anything else. If I have a source born yet, Chelsea can make top four or even win the Champions League. I need the squad to ball out for us to make the Champions League and to make top four. If Havers balls out and he can give you consistent goals and assists. That leads to a string of wins. Maybe we could push for top four. Maybe. But I have to see it. I have to see it. Because we need a lot more. We also need a cohesive midfield. We also need creativity. We also need a goalkeeper that we can trust consistently. So I don't know. I don't know, bro. Um, I'm going to send a link out to everyone anyway. So just bear with me for a little sec. We'll see who's about. And yeah, hit the like button. Hit the like button, my people. If you want to guarantee your comment gets read out, hit a super chat. If you also want to help the channel out, hit a super chat. If not, just like and all of that shit. Switch my laptop while I'm moving. Fucking slow as always, but we move. Is that from? So yeah, I think that is. I think that is. Oh, yeah, Instagram. Can't be asked. Awesome. 
Cool. Yep, that is everybody. That is everybody. Yes, guys. What's, what's everyone saying? What's everyone Big up, man. What are you Big telling up, me? Everyone. Is you all good? Yeah, just just recovered from the maddest cold, the maddest flu ever. Oh yeah, you you had it as well, bro. I was fucking COV twenty five or whatever it is. Uh, whatever it is, you already know, man. It got me. Bro, I'm, I'm still right coughing my lungs out a couple times a day, but hey, we're getting better. We're getting better. Yeah. Um, what was your thoughts on Chelsea bringing in a bunch of youth prospects? We got the here we go on Datra Fafana. We got the here we go on Andre Santos. There we go in it. I think this is where we are. I think Bowley, this is Bowley's strategy. I think coming into the game, he just wants to acquire the best talents he can and build from there. Um, I guess I hope he will address more pressing issues like players we need now, like midfielders, a cover for or competition for Rich James, if you want to call it that, if in case he gets injured. And obviously the striking situation. But yeah, it's it's what it is. I mean, optimistic, you know. See what happens. Yeah, you, you and me both. Alex, what are you saying, my guy? You all good? Yeah, just wait for Jorginho to sign the new deal, six-year deal with 30K. If he does, if he does, because we're hearing a string of different things, he might not be re-signing. He wants to re-sign, but... Apparently, there's been no talks, so you might get Jim your White, wish, my friends. You might get Jim your White, wish. Jim White tried to press the question to him when he was on talks, but by the way, uh, kind of ignored it. Why is everybody so Simon Phillips? Like, like why is this psi and uh, of YouTube is uh, everywhere now? I don't know. He just comes up with a lot of links. Really, he's the psi of the Twitter. Psy, P Y whatever P Y S oh, guy. Pies. <laughs> oh yeah, pies. Pies is basically like a news, like a news account. Like Twitter. Yeah, but everything so he what's... gets is from sources. Who? Simon Phillips. <laughs> some are Simon Phillips. Some are from. No, what uh, Simon Phillips getting his sources from? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't listen to anything that Simon Phillips guy says. Exactly. Like, what's his buddy? What is his buddy's name? The other guy? I don't listen to no one, bro. <laughs> Johnny? Johnny? No, there's another dude that uh, that he works with. I can't remember his name, though. Um, Matlo. Me... Is it Matlo? R- RJP nah. Journalism. He can't work with name. Matlo. No, no, no. He can't work. Rob. Is it Rob? He, not Rob, but there's another guy, too. Dan McCarthy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's is if you're talking about his podcast, yeah, it's Simon Phillips, Dan McCarthy, and Rob. I'm not always saying it's but Rob. <laughs> it goes like first name, up, first people? name and last name, first name and last name, and and Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I got a surname. They literally ain't one. It just says Rob. No, um, Rob Prattley. Rob Pratt. Yeah, That's the awesome. I, mean, I mean, Rob could be anyone, like, uh, Lewis. Yeah, yeah it can be kind. I guess if you don't have a, if you don't have a face to put on the name, yeah. Alex, I would never pick an ugly ass name like Rob, bro. <laughs> I don't think it's up to you. I think it's you. When I think about, up to you, I would change it, man. When I think of Rob, I think of a, of a slimy accountant, man. That's what I think of, man. Maybe it's based on my experiences, but I don't know. Fabricio, Fabricio Jacob, uh, Jacob is better. Fabricio is the guy. Is five seconds after the official announcement. Yeah, Fabrizio is yeah. your poacher, bro. <laughs> you know what? He he's basically he's Pedro, man. He's basically Pedro. But he always scores, which is yeah. Fair. But Fabrizio is good though, because once you get an eerie goal, you know he's a definite. Oh, it's a oh. done deal. So uh, you know, did, uh, I did hold on a second. I did done not know. Done, done deal last year, last summer. Yeah. You know what? And what happened? You know what hindered it is rare. Rare. It's it rare. You know what hindered his reputation the most? Yeah. It's when uh, the I remember the party saga. He was like, "No, party's not moving." And then uh, was it Einstein who uh, who reported? He's like, "Nah, he's gonna go to Arsenal." The release clause was paid, and Fabrizio was like fucking sticking by his gun. That kind of hurt his reputation a little bit, as far as that transfer. It was more than just party. There's a couple of more players that he done that, and he got 
Okay, let's just admit that his hit rate's pretty high, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, he's not Simon Phillips. Yeah, he's not. He's not like the Jacobs guy, man. <laughs> that guy, man. Oh, ben, Jacobs. Like me. Yeah, yeah, uh, ben Jacobs. Yeah, yeah, Ben Jacobs. Ben Jacobs is like a Jehovah's Witness, bro. And it's nothing. I don't agree with anything he says. Bro. When he says something, it comes from one ear and it goes to the other, man. The guy is not. I know. Everybody's so happy. Like I see, what's his name? Uh, the other guy, Turkish guy. That oh man, what's his name? Jim. Jim yeah. taking so serious his conversation. Yeah, yeah. Terry takes so serious his conversation. Bro, <laughs> wait, pay the guy the to come on the stream. I think the only thing, the only thing worse than uh, than Ben Jacobs' reliability is his eyesight, bro. <laughs> That, that Kaka, guy, don't man. say too much, man. Louis <laughs> might invite him here, bro. Don't say too I, much. I mean, Louis, hey, hey, I'm, not, I'm not associated with Louis, man. <laughs> don't ruin, don't ruin my guy. He collab it. <laughs> Louis, unless you bring Fabrizio, I, I, I'm I'm downgrading your channel to 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 copper copper level, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I could bring Fabrizio. This yeah, Fabrizio, I yeah, should bring. Yeah, it's just 400 so. pounds. It's just but there's nothing about Chelsea. The problem. <laughs> There's not much That's about Chelsea, thing. bro. Are you really gonna pay him five hundred pounds for him to tell you about kids for the future, bro? Once we start being linked with with good players, then you can invite him over, man. Yeah, that might By the be way, a you guys, summer thing. I want you to talk about the, the Neymar thing. The Neymar thing. Ninety million. Neymar. Yeah, did you not hear about that? The... No, I yes. didn't. But again, like we, were, everyone's saying Simon Phillips. I mean, yeah, there Simon we go. Phillips there we go. The ones that's reported it. So. Yeah. <laughs> How is he the only one that gets a scoop then? Like, you know, I score he's, got, no, bro. he's got sources he in the club. Do? I just don't know what the sources are. Come he's on, got now. it's probably yeah. Mason Mount, bro. That's his source, man. Right <laughs> it's like uh, his, uh, I'm bold, his dad is bold. You know, we have the bold connection. Everybody, just I, can have everybody. A, I can have a cousin that's playing for Chelsea right now, and I just got his number on the low. Does that mean I'm as good as credible as Simon Johnson? Like, you know, I sources, mean, if your you guy know, actually does work for Chelsea uh, and he has credible yeah, information, then you know, maybe, maybe no. that was literally. And also, I... if it actually happens, it does help you out too. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Like, let's no, be real. Was... If you knew someone in the club, they tell you this, this, and this is happening, and you say it, and it happens, then I would love yeah. Neymar, man. I would love Chelsea again if we get Neymar, man. But well, that ain't happening. I think Neymar is actually done now. I think Please. mentally he's probably finished after Please. the World Cup. Let's not I mean, bring you want to get Neymar before the World Cup? Nah, now he's got one more World Cup in him. He is he's making it. He's, he just turned what? 30, bro. He, he can play I for another two or four years. Karate. Okay, but like we ain't seen 35-year-old no. Messi in the World Cup. Bro, 38 year old. That's Ronaldo, a different bro. mentality. I don't think he's Neymar. looking after himself like he, Messi. He got Ronaldo one more in him. Brother. He's got one more. Uh, come on, I that's not true, man. I don't he's been like the best player for Brazil back then, bro. He ain't passing the footballs 35 in football. There is no, no way. way. We, we don't need Adam, him to pass for the play. We need him 30. No, no, no. I'm talking about, I don't think he's passing that. I don't think he got three years in here. You know, Alex. Nah, you I know. I don't think he does, I, don't think, I think he's a party brother. Ronaldinho style. Give it 32, exactly. 33. It's going to, it's over. Trust me. Probably Bro, go people, back to Brazil. You know, I just, you know people, people said the same thing about Ribéry, man. And he was winning Champions League. Ribéry, with is, not, Ribéry is not Neymar. I'm talking about... Oh, Ribéry nobody Neymar. said Ribéry that about Ribéry, man. Than, than Neymar, man. No one said that about Ribéry. Who said that about Ribéry? I didn't what kind of Ribéry party is it? The guy doesn't drink. The guy doesn't go out. What kind of party yeah, are you after, talking about Ribéry? Yeah, because he, after he like converted, man. That, that's when uh, he started being like, you know, calmed his ass down. But there was a... Look it up so right now. Put Ribéry... Controversies. The guy has a lot of them, man. Rigger, I just don't uh, think Neymar he got the thing. Him. Well, plus Neymar is a man of God, apparently. Yeah, that, mm. would, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean much nowadays, but yeah. A was, African apparently. birthday party in Brazil, bringing the whole PSG to come and live life in Shayo. Come on, man. Why the not, man? The football players, bro. Up, bro, bro. Yeah, but he's not gonna, you know, at that age, keep yourself still in frame if you want to make that one more World Cup. You know, he ain't gonna do that. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, uh, I, I would love Neymar, man. I would love Neymar, man. The only thing I hate about him is the fact that TikTok is uh, is with a bunch of thirsty girls with him. But other than that, I love Neymar, man. Would you not take? He would elevate Chelsea, Chelsea to another. For some level. reason, for some Chelsea. for some reason, uh, TikTok is one of my favorite apps ever. But for some <laughs> reason, Neymar <laughs> never is. was on, never never on my timeline. For some reason, Neymar is not. But the big 
the girls with the big boobs are all the time. I don't know why. That's what the Chinese. No, no, no. Say, that that no. If you if if you me if you notice what I said, right after who said it, what you'll understand why I said no, it. What Neymar, I said. Neymar is all over the news now. Like he's everywhere, man. Toys of the World Cup. Not on my timeline. But on your not on time my timeline, <laughs> more, not on my timeline either, man. But I, I don't even have TikTok. I'm just saying, man. If you look so it up, how man, do you know that the guy has a TikTok? Because I do marketing. My whole fucking job is social media, man. I know how it works. I know how trends work in this crap. Mm. Man. I, I Google that search. You gotta be on it in order to know how it works, man. You know? Yeah, I do, man. I do. Like, <laughs> okay. So now like, he's on it. <laughs> Unlike Alex, man, my girl is 23, bro. Alex is like 66, man. I, 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 I know young people, man. You know how that's how it goes, man. But anyway, man, Neymar, Neymar is a good marketing. Tool Every for time me and you argue, my would... age is getting older and older. Alex, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> up to you, man. You need to drink more water, bro. I want to drink water. I don't drink <laughs> sodas, more juvenile, man. man. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> Sladka vodka. <laughs> Slatka, but no, no, but water with gas, bro. I've never only under Tate made water with gas sounds masculine, bro. <laughs> he literally said it. I'm 66, you motherfucker. Oh, uh, wait, okay. Minus, Every minus, time, minus, the last minus, time minus you told me I'm 45, bro. you literally jumped 15 years older now. <laughs> 66. <laughs> 66 just rhymed in my head, man. It's just, it's just throw numbers, man. Let's hope you that kind of hit that kind of economist that everything you lined up. No, thank God I'm not an economist, man. Jesus Christ, bro. No, oh, man. Oh, I have tears in my eyes. Big run. Big run. Big run is like, can I get a proper job? Big up, Big up, OG. Big run sounds like the kind of guy who works in a, in a truck, man. Just picks up like this. Make $10 an hour, man. I'm good, man. My job is proper, man. I make good money. Alhamdulillah, like you Muslim say, man. <laughs> Kai. Love My guy. <sighs> um, <I'm>, right. <laughs> right. Um, Mendy's six-year contract offer. Well, what was everyone's thoughts on How? that? He's How? Very, no. He's 30 years no. old. Do you, do you believe... Do you believe it was real? Do you believe the offer? Do you think that, that was a real? I, I think it's all cap. I think it's just rumors. <laughs> I news. don't believe it was offered a six year deal. Yeah, I, I believe yeah. it's. I, 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 I might don't be wrong. Know. The guys were crucified. But why would they offer them six years? Six years. Because he's a goalkeeper as well. You need to remember that. That's he's a why. 29, For 29 year olds. So I don't know if he fits with Potter's uh, <laughs> philosophy as a keeper. So why would you give That's him six years? That's why I'm hoping years? it was offered when Tuchel was in charge. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. But under, under uh, Potter. He's not, he doesn't fit the profile. I don't know if it's a popular no, opinion or not. I would go for Martinez, man. Yes, Martinez. Martinez. Is shit. He would be very good for Chelsea. He's, he's not a good one. He's, he's, he's literally, one, he literally won the, he's the one who won the, the 12th for Argentina, not Messi, bro. He's shit, he is the one who won it. Man. I know, yeah. but how did he won it? He won in the penalties. Why would I want another Kepa? No, he's not Kepa. He's a very good... Even if you watch him for Aston Villa, he's pretty good. He's better than Kepa, but he's not a good goalkeeper. That he Croatian... Not, what, what, no, you, what do you guys think of that Croatian guy? Yeah, the Croatian... Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's Croatian kid is in. Martinez yeah. is not a good shot stopper. He is not a good shot stopper. Watch him at Aston Villa. You will see the, what I'm talking about. I, I did. I watched like Arsenal as well. At Arsenal, he was better than the goalkeepers they had before him, man. He was better than Leno. The only thing they, the reason they kept him is because of the popularity. But if you look, if you're willing to look beyond that, I think he's, he's, he's a very good goalkeeper. I'll look beyond it. I think we can do better if we go in this direction. Martinez yep. is not an option. I think if we go in that direction, first of all, we just signed the young keeper <laughs> from uh, uh, Chicago Fire. What is it, Chicago Fire? Slonina, yeah. Slonina. No, yeah, Slonina, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Which is right. actually a really good keeper. He's just up and coming. If we can get another one um, slightly better, those two goalkeepers can do the job. I think that kid from Croatia is good. No, I think he's better than Mendy. Too. I think Levakovic. 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 No, I think he's good with his feet. He's calm. He's a really good shot star. Very calm. Very calm. Very calm. I was impressed with so None of you. None of you would keep. So none of you. To see him in a flex really AC Milan. None of you would AC keep Milan Mendy. Mendy nope. yeah? So why don't we do a swap though for Magian? 
AC Milan wants all of our players, but none of them are going there. Footballers <laughs> won't accept that. Yeah, they're, they're not. People think footballers are fucking uh, trading cards, bro. You can just trade them on swaps like it's FIFA, bro. It's not work. They have, they have like contracts. They have a lot of more complicated things to do. Yeah, bro, they want all. That's bro. why they never were. No, right. no, no let... the best goalkeepers in Italy. We'll offer you one of the worst in England. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> 29 and he's like, he wants money. Man. Name happen, me the bro. last time that actually two clubs exchanged bro. the players. Exactly. I think it was uh, Sanchez and Mkhitaryan once, but that's because Sancho ran out of contract as well, so they have nothing to offer. Man. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Croatian kid is good, man. People think it's Pokemon cards, man. Yeah, he is. He's. I like the Croatian. Even the right back. I would love the right back as well. From oh, Croatia. he was sick, man. Juranovic. Yeah, I, I bro. Nice. I, that Croatia team, Valencia, the more we add to Chelsea, the better, man. Add some toxic Valencia goalkeeper. Bro. Bro. Are club, you trying? Galib, are you trying to get all the Georgian and the uh, Kafkaski uh, Igrakov in Chelsea? Georgian? Ah, oh, no, man. We don't need more squads. Mama, squad, squad really... Georgians in the team. Mabarashvili sounds like him. Armenian or Georgian's name. Yeah. <coughs> sounds like sounds like the guy who owns a strip club, man. <laughs> in LA, probably. <laughs> exactly, man. There's a big, big... Uh, uh, what's the name? <laughs> Armenian... Uh, mm -hmm. Is, what do you do? Well, let's say it group, <laughs> Armenian group in Los Angeles. <laughs> entertainment group. <laughs> what do you do? I entertain. <laughs> no, that was, uh, that was, uh, uh, what's the name? <laughs> that was, uh, the, remember the BLM uh, march, uh, 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 riots, whatever that thing happened last last time i'm, I'm leaving this and they no, and they bro. and they were marching through the streets and the only one store wasn't destroyed and there was armenian or georgian store and the guys albanian, just said do what it was i thought it was albanian no 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 there was one of the sure. armenian or georgians but the rest of them were destroyed i was like damn <laughs> those guys don't mess around they looked after anyway. that well <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, yeah. Lewis, so you're going to talk about the performance situation for fun, which, which one? one? Have two We're already one. making new music. One? Exactly. Which one? The young, the young star. Oh, whoa! Oh. The, here we so go. Yeah. He's here. We we got him in. And eighty million yeah. for kids, man, and we still didn't fix up our. our Yo, man, am I the only one that thinks that Chelsea's like some sort of like team. academy finishing school now? There you go. There, you, 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 wrong, I said it. you said it, bro. I agree with you. Couch, bro. I said it yesterday. The We're age literally Michael of team is going to be Jackson's older is 25. Is fun, I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking the approach. I think it's like the right approach because if you're going to work with Potter, you need kids that are going to buy into his philosophy. Exactly. But at the same time, man. We still want to yeah, be competing at the highest level, and it seems like the direction that we're taking right now is trying to, like, you know, cultivate these young kids and whatnot. So I don't know, man. Yeah, for me, well, I don't know. In my opinion, we're implementing it too fast for me right now. We should do it like kind of slowly integrate. Nobody's like, talking about younger you. Younger players, man. Can uh, uh, pineapple? Jim, you pineapple you Turkish, bro. Nobody's talking you about Turkish, you. Turkish, bro. Nobody spoke about Tur Turkey, bro. What being Can said. Yeah, uh, nothing's been said about you. Uh, I think you saw about when you said about him bringing in Ben Jacobs and shit. Oh, oh, ben yeah, Jacobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, ben Jacobs is a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I, I said that stream was a gossip girl. Girls. Witness, bro. He makes stuff up just to convert. Got it, bro. Pick up yourself, Jim. Pick up, bro. Couch, yeah, I up, agree with you. If we get in, what? Yeah, it is. It is. I understand the approach. I just don't understand how much fell off back we're gonna be to yeah. get those results That's i'm, I'm the just thinking it's, it's gonna be, a, if it's we gonna be results, long we're years gonna... before we're we're back to where we need to be right and again like yeah. i think that everyone was talking about chelsea trying to like find the diamonds in the rough and trying to like you know grow them make those players make their name at chelsea rather than buy the players that have already made their name and then come to chelsea for like 100 million pound i think that's the way to go about it but man this is gonna be some tough years man some tough tough years long um, years. i don't for me, it's, it's too Wrap much up. of a gamble. It's too much of a gamble if you don't add some more experienced players. But we'll the see. reason why the reason why I'm concerned because I don't see him trying to adapt with the players we have to save the position on the table and yeah. go into dramatic changes with, with that. Oh, mm. cool. You see what I'm saying? Lewis, you just want him on, that's bro. That's, the, that's that's that's. Uh, 
that's why my biggest concern is it's about yeah. I don't think Harry Potter is that kind of manager that can adapt with the players and get best of them on a temporary basis like Tuchel did. You see, Tuchel, what he did, he noticed what Lampard did, good things, and he noticed that what he ha- what happened to him is uh, um, he needs to fix specific situation. You know what I'm saying? So he used that and applied to the new uh, to the new way of looking at it. And the team started playing better with the same squad that Lampard had. He made the small adjustments to the small uh, to the team that he already had, and it was performing better. No matter how you're saying, like Ooh. in the league or in the championship league, he noticed he changed it. With Potter, I don't see that kind of movement to save. At least a position on the table. That's why I'm thinking like <coughs> I think it's better for Chelsea if we don't get any kind of European competition next season. If oh. if I'm hundred percent sure we're not getting top four, I wanna be us in the table of ten. High like the, the tenth. So we wouldn't yeah. be in any competition and let him work with those underprivileged kids that we sign in. <laughs> underprivileged. <laughs> what? What? Under, what the underage. 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 Underprivileged. Underage is different thing, bro. It's different thing. Alex. Well, let's well, let's let's you connection, bro. Shouldn't be making this thing, bro. Let me see. Hold on a second. Well, we kind of underprivileged. We go to the Todd Bowley that I never heard of. Oh my days, man. You're a walking cancellation, bro. <laughs> like I said, English is not my first language. So if something doesn't, don't uh, you use Alex, you say that, but underprivileged and underage is completely two different terms, bro. Oh, What's underprivileged God. means actually? Is that like a oh, poverty? Yeah, you yeah. say oh, never mind. Well, fuck you know. Hello. Hey, hey, actually, actually, no, actually, they're not that, no, no. no. they're they not that rich, right? They haven't had the professional contracts, the oh. big ones. They're coming to Chelsea to get the big contract, right? Stop digging your hole, bro. Exactly, man. Just stop it, man. Drop it, man. Let the kids be, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's around Christmas as well, man. Just leave it, man. Fuck no, but to his point, yeah, wow. we can't be playing European Conference League just for banter's sake. We have to ever make Europa Cup. Or just go bust completely because the European Conference League is an embarrassment. I want to take it, man. Bro, I am I mean, not watching that. I mean, there, there is another way of looking at it, though. There is isn't it on Mondays? Isn't it on Mondays? The Conference League. When does it happen? Well, so Thursday, well, another way of looking Friday. at it is it'll give some of those younger kids a chance to play European football, right? Like these nineteen. Because I don't think that there'll be a first team. Club. I don't think that. No, nah, I think I think if, competition if for the youth. I could see if we're it. being. Yeah. If we're being realistic, yeah, I think like we need to to in order for this project to to kind of work out, we need to look at it also from like a progressive kind of way in other ways, right? Like we need to make money, we need to make keep our shareholders happy because we've just been through an ownership, yeah. We can't just look at it from a football point of view because Chelsea as a club right now is in a very kind of uh, gentle situation where we just moved owners and we do need to kind of switch our business ideas as well so we do need to keep our shareholders happy man we can't just look at it like oh yeah we're just gonna fucking like let it be man it's so not, how do you keep not... the shareholders happy we do... need to try to get to top four we need to try to build yeah, a team that, that that's, that's obvious but the reality is we're probably it not depends gonna... what way into yeah, money sure they're into making money back they're making <laughs> their money back money. That's what they're gonna be into man profit not making money, Champions league is losing a lot of money man I don't know. I, I Is think there are strip clubs are, in are England and London. No, Alex, but you know why? Yeah. I, I'm not going to speak about it now, right now, because I think we're assuming that the club just going to sign young players. We still haven't seen it because we were linked to, to the young, we were linked for other players a lot in the summer, right? So we, and the I'm young is see old. But he's he's not young. He's about to be twenty six. He's, 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 he's in that experienced age. Right? That's what I'm telling you. We well, that's what I said. Yeah, but I'm not going to judge the club. Yesterday assume, again, I, it's twenty five yeah, years not, old. Around I'm not gonna, But I'm not going to assume that the club is going to go on a youth project when, whenever we still don't know what's actually going to happen in the transfer window. Because when you look at the window uh, at our previous window, we start Sterling. We signed Obama and we did sign core players. We didn't just go all out on young players. So I think that we're going to resume well, that. That was a tuckle, right? I yeah. don't think it was. I think the club by not on their own you know, trying to. Uh, I don't think so. I, I think. Want it to win. 
I mean, uh, I don't, I don't think Tuchel just stood, uh, stood there and didn't say like, uh, uh, "Where's the ball pulling the names from?" Yeah, because what, but, but uh, he's pulling the name because he has he has people around him like advisors or whatever. I don't think he just like let the managers decide what they want like all out. I think out. the mentality was different with Tuchel now. though. I think Tuchel wanted to win now, now he wanted to win, but I think now, I think that that I think now he's different. They just want to develop these young players. Maybe that's what I disagree with them. you. Man. Yeah, but Tuk that's you see that's because Tuko came from the Roman the last part of the Roman um era where you have to win. There's no project this and that. Because even Tuko said that himself. No, you can if that was the case if, you have to win. If, but if but that we, was the case, I don't mm. think Tuko is the one who picked up those signings and confirmed them. I think if it was the case, they wouldn't have been sacked him. I think they had their own kind of plan in mind. They sacked enough and they kinda went with it. It was mixed. It was mixed. It was yeah, it's mixed. Some some of the signings, some of Bodhi yeah, I, I, come on. I, Look, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think we're gonna there. sign twenty-nine years olds anymore. That, yeah, but I don't think I don't think we're only gonna sign twenty-year-olds and nineteen-year-olds either, man. I think we're gonna okay. We'll sign. Them. You're right. We're not. not. What's you're not. Us? You're right. We're not. We're gonna sign twenty-five and nineteens. Yes, but yeah, we're not signing anybody that. around older than around yeah, twenty-five. Sure. No, I think we will sign a twenty-six or a twenty-seven-year-old. Well, twenty-six is around twenty-five. What's right, the doing? Where is he? Is in the bus? You're in the bus. <laughs> if you round my age no. from 45 to 66, oh, swanker! No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, you no. really wrong. Right. Gosh, said it. No, no, I'm I'm no, no, no. That's exactly what. That's exactly how I see it, man. We're basically Dortmund. Exactly. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> no, we're not we're Dortmund. Dortmund. We want to be I Dortmund. Feel like, I feel like we're a finishing school now, man. Like we're not. We're not. Wait, yeah. Who said we want to be Dortmund, man? Nah, we want to be. We want to be. Oh, tough, man. We don't want to be Dortmund. We're not that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, think. I understand. I understand that for Tur, but the way we're going about it is not Chelsea like. Yeah. It seems more like Dortmund like. You know. Kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, I think we need no, to do like what's what like that, that. No, I think what we need to do is we need to do like a city project. Of course you can, but I'm joking. Man. What's up? Oh, he pays your child support. You're so happy. Brisket or no, he... <laughs> What did he say? No, what no, I'm no, saying is like we're not even Dortmund. Dortmund yeah. produces the kids. Ribeye. So right. far, we're just buying them. <laughs> No, Dortmund like, buys. Dortmund bought the ball. Yeah, yeah buy. but Dortmund I buys think, under 60. I think, I, think, I think now that the appointments that we've had, and like then selling it for 150. Or what have you, I think maybe. Lewis, are you going to read that super chat? Policy will change. Um, yeah, big up President Jafar saying, I'm here for this Bowley project. Good meal, wonderful food. And yeah, mm. let's hope we win some trophies in about two years. It's, up the it's, a, good, up it's a good meal if you're used to like eating like fucking. Uh, Mashed potatoes and, meal. And, and chicken Happy wings, meal man. Yeah, that's, that's the good meal, man. Yeah. No, we can't act like we're, we're, we're getting some prime steak. Looking at making, making a freaking food, a food, food. Uh, my God, I'm man. actually a very good cook, Alex. I've been cooking since I was 17 years old. Mashed potato, one year steak. Wow. On it. Don't worry, bro. One day, one day, Alex, we come to Europe, bro. I'll make you a nice uh, ribeye. Kai, I just had the yesterday ribeye. Ribeye, really? and I don't Kai, have Kai, to cook. bro. I've just, pe uh, just, my guy is calling us from rebuy. Tesco, bro. God Cook damn. And bro. everything. No, no, it's not Tesco. It's not Tesco. It's, um, it's oh, a special Sainsbury. place. In... No, no, um, it's a Korean market. Korean market? Wait. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's Korean central. Tesco. It's central. It's in central. Well, my no, man no, is buying like Wayogi beef, bro. And people, people, are, people are inflation, and he's buying Wayogi beef, man. That's good, bro. Keep yeah, it going. Now, this, now I know like, where's uh, all the donation towards Lewis Jones. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Cost of living, bro. Cost of living. Cost of living, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sanctions. Man, gotta eat, man. Yeah. By, by Dortmund, though, do you just mean that we're looking at younger talents, or do you mean we could pretend you're looking at Chelsea I just, I just potentially think, being well, a selling? When club? you look at Dortmund, Dortmund's like a finishing school for me, too. They, buy, they bring in young players. Develop them, then sell them for an exorbitant amount, right? Like, I don't think that Chelsea's going to be buying the Chocomecas and all these guys and just keeping them in the squad for like 10 years. It doesn't seem like that, at least. I, or maybe maybe even those players don't even have that sort of ambition. They just bought the guy from, uh, was, was a kid from uh, Vasco, is it? Yeah, yeah Santos, yeah. Andre Santos. Santos? You think, that, you think that guy has aspirations to stay at Chelsea, Chelsea for the next 10 to 15 years? They sold them on know. the idea that they sold them on the idea that like this is where you're gonna reach your, you know, reach your level. You know, like this is 
this and is then it's to develop i, I kind of disagree with you on that uh because it can't be it can't like look any kid whoever grows up wants to be real madrid barcelona right. you know what i'm saying i understand that there's a thing that people don't get it like if, this is why when you're a kid when you play for a small club like a local small club you always think of that small club but at the back of the head you're thinking like you know what i want to play for spartak moscow when i grow up or i want to be that kind of player <laughs> but when you go there it doesn't necessarily mean for example if you don't go to spartak moscow if, as you dreamed of but you end up in uh, uh locomotive <laughs> yeah and there was a com- completely opposite team your inspiration doesn't stop the club actually can turn you and i can it, give you an example depending what on the, you're right depending on what the club Who's is uh, running. aspiring towards right so yeah. if you right now what we're seeing with chelsea right now is we are trying to develop these young players to become the next the next generation right the next generation of star players right what the the reason why i have a little bit of trepidation about this approach is because like if we continue down this path kids aren't going to stay here for like six seven years you know without titles without like winning without a ring mentality and i don't know if we have that right now it's very hard to define it's very hard to define whether or not we, we do don't. or we don't you know it's it's just i'm just basing it on what i'm seeing right now we're not yeah, buying but- the we're not buying the ready-made talent right now. Look but, at Real but, Madrid's, look, uh, yeah. the Barcelona. Wait, but, that, but that's that's there is no kid. Man City's, but, all these, all the squads. Man like, City's. I would, I would argue that Man we still City don't buys know ready-made in the talent. Future, though. But Cal- Man no, City but, buys think, ready-made but talent. But you could man. argue that we still don't. Yeah, know I know. Because we are gonna. We, I I don't think people people are judging it now that say you based on the the last two or three players that we signed. Look, but we're still gonna sign ready-made yeah. players in the ne- in the next year. Yeah, uh, that's not the, what we're talking about. I'm not gonna judge it you. like right now, no. Yeah. But I what mean, I'm t- what I'm agree. trying to tell you who's who's the biggest uh, who's the, what was the dream for Hazard to go to Madrid? Yeah, but there's a lot of players who would dream to go to Chelsea as well. Fofana is a Chelsea fan, Mbappe as well. What so I'm he, saying there's is, a lot of players who, there's a full my knee injury. Yeah, Lukaku as well. There's a lot. No, but you said it, it depends on the generation, right? Because Chelsea, right. And, let me, the players let who are 19, me, 21, 23. Let me tell you what I'm trying to say and see if you, you understand. I understand that kids' inspiration become Real Madrid players and Barcelona and all that kinds of stuff. But if they come to Chelsea, that doesn't mean that they not going to be fall in love and they cannot turn their head. Right. Like Hazard. Hazard re- dreamed about Real Madrid, but he fell in love with that club so much that he- it was hard for him to leave. And I right. believe but that. Another that, person. That, that, that is one theory, and that's true. That is that is possible. I, but let's keep in mind, this theory. is a completely new regime too, right? I know. And I, I, I know that. That's what but I'm trying to, to say. Just to add as well, I think if we gave Hazard better players, he would have stayed. Exactly. Oh, really. shit shot. So Absolutely. there's another thing that people don't, Imagine don't understand. Anyway. It's... Um, that's when exactly my po- exactly my point what Lewis <laughs> is gonna say. If uh, uh, Lewis you, is that's said, gonna be him, oh, fucking, fuck sorry, so go ahead, go ahead, man. Sorry, man. What I was trying to say is that yeah. actually the people around the team they can change the kids' mind. For example, f- uh, uh, like uh, like you said, if Hazard had better players around them, he would. He, I think his ambitions are more the Championship League trophy than actual Real Madrid. He just noticed that it's easier to win over Eden over here. Mm-hmm. I think that was his bigger, bigger ambitions. Yeah, he wouldn't trophies. say that, but that's what I think Real Madrid has stood for him. So he was in his we prime had, and we were going yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. If, if he would have, if we would have had the players that actually can win him that, Based on how he looks at the football, he will never left because yeah. he likes the stability and comfort. There's a there's a players that can be changed during the games. Remember, the brain doesn't firm all the way until you're 25. You're dreaming of Real Madrid, but the brain can be tweaked from the proper structure. What I understand what you tried to say, Couch. That yeah, the, but you're still team. you're still missing one key factor though. You're you're assuming that that's what is going to happen. Like all these players are going exactly. to go through the next four or five Success. years Success at Chelsea. Is not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed, right? Exactly. And 
I'm just going with the approach that we're taking right now. Not necessarily what happens four or five years down the line. The approach right now is to buy young, develop, and then see what happens, right? That's where we're going right now. I don't see anyone. I don't. Well, of course, Nkunku's a nice signing. Um, we signed some some center backs in the summer. Obviously, Koulibaly's not the youngest. Um, there will be signings of that sort. But I think that the majority of the signings we're going to see right now is just like you said, the, the younger kids that we're trying to develop. It's the reasons why we have Graham Potter as a manager right now. He has exactly. an ability to get young players to buy in and, and all of that, right? So but, that is a change but, but, in philosophy. No, we, we're it's changing, no we're right. changing our but philosophy as exactly a club. hundred percent right. Couch, do, do you do you do you do you consider somebody like an Ankuku a young player? No. Who is by the way born on my birthday? Me and him share a birthday, but that's that's the <laughs> point. How about right? you start out like him, man? Was that on February the fourteenth? No, is that man. February the 14th? Nove- November 14th. Oh, Jesus right. Christ, Alex. November. What's bro. the Feb- February? No, hold on. What's the February 14th? Oh, Valentine's Day. That's your birthday, you fucker. <laughs> For giving me 66 years old. What, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Alex. Alex you need You're to- born on Valentine's Day. You need Day, some pilmeni, bro. You need some pilmeni. You're fucking up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, that's my point. Like, I, I think a lot of us, I, I'm not going to, like, judge this whole project yet because I still don't know where exactly we're trying to go with it because Ankugo is not really a, a young player. I'll consider him a young player. I think he's in the age where he's already kind of an established who he, who he is as a player and what he, where and he's going to go from here, right? How old is yeah, he? He's 20, 25. 25. 25 years that's old. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But it's t- 20, 25 is not a young 25. player. It's not a young player, though. It's not? It's not a young player. Not really. 25. 25 so is probably not really a prime right about now. Yes, because under 23. The is usual you prime it. starts for the players is about 27. You no. think for an attacker big, like big, that? Big, no, the under, big, big, big talents usually starts earlier. But no, but not under that. 23, according to football, it's considered no, under 23 is the last youth division. It's the last youth division True, is under 23. Yeah, Kai is right about that's that. The last, that's the last youth division is under 23. So after 24, 25, you're already established, kind of an established player. You're no longer like, mm. you're not, you're no longer mm. a youth player. And that's according to FIFA, at least. Oh, so, so, so yeah, I don't okay, know. So, okay, okay. PlayStation so, so 5 I don't, ratings. I don't, okay, I don't really. No, no, man. Fuck not, not FIFA. Not FIFA the game, man. FIFA the organization, bro. <laughs> yeah. They would, but that's what I'm, they that's do, what I'm saying. They, who, so, who's the one that gives them ratings? Let me get to the point, bro. Let me get to the point, man. Let me get to the point. So, I'll, uh, Couch, to you, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm the same as you, right? Exactly, I'm worried, I'm worried if this is the kind of like thing that we're going to, to be, right? Like this youth organization, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I'm seeing a sign experience player as well. So I'm going to see where we're going to go in the summer. And after that, I'm going to judge this project. You, I'm not gonna okay, go ahead so and... without champion, are we in agreement that Champions League is a, a tough, it's a, it, it's a tough sell right now, right? It's a tough sell, it but happening. also... It okay. also could happay man it okay happen. it could happen but it's a tough sell right now right it's a, it's a tough sell yes and and, okay. and whoever and then, failed to get it should be held would, accountable for it can we also agree that without champions league we're probably not going to be able to attract the best talent right no. i think i still I'm in agreement with that our, our name agreement with that no just, yeah, just, we our, are, our, name, our name has clout our name has clout so we, our name has signed, well, our, our name has changed signed... now it's bowley no 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 let me get to the point yeah we signed kante when we played europa league Right, Kante was looked after through the whole fucking league, Europe. We signed Kante. We signed some good players when we were in the Europa League. I think our name by itself weights have uh, heavier than actually playing Europa we, League. We I don't think. It's, league, you know, I don't think. I don't think Europa. Let me let, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. I don't think it's the, it's the end of all if we don't get Champions League for one season. But if we keep in the projector, like for example Arsenal or United, when they couldn't sign any play, we they couldn't get Champions League for four or five years, then that's when we I would start worrying. But one year without Champions need, League, well. we still have the project. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. You need a manager. You, well. you need a manager to sell to sell the dream to the player. Again, when we yes, signed again, Kante, we finished no, tenth. Uh, that's where I disagree. That's Antonio where I disagree. Conte, it isn't, a big manager it, could sell. Most of the clubs, most of the clubs, most of the clubs, Bayern Munich, all these clubs, they, most of the players signed because of the director of football where the project has to go. Those those are the people who convince the players, not the managers. Okay. Because managers well, we and big go. clubs, they come and go. They're well, not well, something. Keep in mind. Use. Keep in mind, though. At Chelsea, it's been different, though. Like we've been yep. using the manager to attract players, right? Exactly, but that's going to change as well. Conte, you know, yeah. like it was more even even sorry, sorry was used to attract players. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, he was. Uh, uh, actually, so you don't I'm believe tra- that we won't be able to sign players? What of quality? I, I think no. we will. I think the, the name, the Chelsea, the name, the brand. I think, it's, 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 mm, we're still trying to be winners. Too let me, players let have me, ambition. Let players want to do stuff. Let me say something. That's why, history, actually, you, you know, without any wrong, without it. any do, you actually agreeing with what me and Couch are saying. You by what you just said, it's actually you agreeing with what I'm saying, and I'll make a point uh, on it. Because when you saying 
that Chelsea is not attracting the players based on Championship League, you exactly proven the point we tried to make. That the 24, 25 years old players are not going to be that much importance on the players that go for the Championship League. The Championship League players are usually the one that demand Championship League games. Already established players. What me and Couch are trying to tell you that we are not going for that market. That's what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. We're not going. But, but I've never said that. I said the pro- the project we're doing right now. I don't necessarily can. I I can't necessarily judge it as a youth project because I still don't know if that's what we're doing. Going. And I do. tried to beat it into your head. 25. It's not the pro. It's not. It's not the uh, ready-made player. It's still a project. 20, around 25, 26, it's still not an established player. Yeah, but it's also not a youth player. And we also, if, if you look at our recent signing, we signed more established players, 25 By the way, and above, than we have signed young players. Right. For, so look, don't, don't get for a different point. manager, though, right? Ex- look, I, I don't think the manager is. Look, no, people saying, I, that, I, okay, go on, people go on, saying that we bought the players like 18 for Brazil. Where do you get this idea that we're going into the first team? I've never said they're going to go into the first team. I've so why are we go saying that actually that we're a youth project then you call it a youth project? Because a lot of people all over social media saying that this is a youth project. That Chelsea wants to give... Uh, uh, Maybe you should put down the social media, Potter. man. They should, you should put Potter as like, Potter is going to be here to develop a youth. That's what they think he's going to do. But I don't oh, think man. that's going to be That's what was man. never said. That was oh, never man. said. The people are... It, it was said many it, times. We are saying... That actual the actual players that needs to be the reason why I want Potter to not get any established players like Neymar like that because the names are, will actually ruin the strategy for the team that he's trying to build. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? 100%. Yeah, yeah, but, I, I but again, if, if, no. The reason I, I, it's not my personal opinion. It's not my personal opinion. But for the benefit of what we're going through with Harry Potter. For his sake, for the Harry Potter's sake, do not sign players like Lukaku, like Neymar, like, uh, what's his name? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. You see what I'm saying? Those are the players that will actually kill him because he will try to work with the youngsters because he do like youngsters to, to get his point across. And those kids, those adults, will actually interfere with him mm-hmm. and stuff like that because... They will say, dude, who the F you are? We already established players. We won shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the problem with the up-and-coming managers. That's what the Ten Hag does at Man United. Mm. I'm not I'll, saying I'll, all, I'll, to, I'll all to, 25 players. I would like to give professionals a bit more clout than that. They ain't going to be disrespecting coaches. You know, Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Nah, wow. man. Come on. We're going what? Like professionals what? Saying, How long are you? Like, even at Chelsea that time. Let me remind you that Kepa one time know, did not actually walk off the field when he was subbed. I know. I know. I know. That's so if you know, why are you making that nonsense then? No, but no, no. It's not nonsense to you. To, to insinuate that in the dressing room now they're just laughing at the manager saying who the fuck are you exactly fuck it's not like like that's a bit that's a bit that's a bit high school are we in regardless of the world not the laugh at the manager no 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 I'm, I'm that's right? not what i'm saying that they're actually gonna oh, use no, no. the word for word for it i'm just I know, saying i but i get what you're just saying but to to, to 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 paint the picture that graham potter cannot handle players of the age of 25 and above or 20 that's not what i'm saying either this is this Let's give Do you understand that's what I'm trying to say? If 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 look, if Lukaku had thing to say against Tuchel, he went and said he actually questions Tuchel's strategy. Tuchel's who won the Champions League who... just a couple months before. Exactly. And you're saying that the guy that was the... well, he's a donut. Pul- he's a look, donut look, Pulisic, There's a lot of Pulisic, donuts in football, man. Pulisic, Pulisic wrote the book. Yeah. If he okay. if he's not getting started, he's starting the typing the next chapter of his book. That's how I just I'm just, I think you're a bit naive, man. I think you're a bit naive. And, and also, nah, I'm, not, I'm not naive, but I'm not, bro, I know what you're saying, bro. I'm you know what I'm saying? The they have their yeah. cliche, they have their cliche, they have their, I understand, but we're talking about professionals, that like, people that are doing this as a There's job, that, man. Are they going to be... What happened the between Abama Yang and, and uh, Mikel? 
That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. Your bummy on effed up. He, he took There's the other things as well you're not considering. Like when the manager demands certain things, like pressing, okay. like run a bit extra. Okay. A player that's like a Neymar does achieve a lot. For, I'm just using Neymar here. And yeah, I, uh, Harry, Graham Post is saying, "Oh, I want you to, I want you to go close down this defender. I want you to run like this." He will, he will turn around. Even Samuel Eto actually said to Guardiola. Apparently, I was listening to his interview. Say, "I'm a striker. I've been doing this for for the past for the rest uh, for most of." What happened to Zlatan at Barcelona? What did he tell Pep? Uh, you know, I'm mentioning you're, 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 yeah, but you made a blanket, our first, but you made a blanket, but it's not, it's not only the established, it's not only the established, but it's, it's not only the established, even our players, even our players, you guys are mentioning before they even individuals won anything, like they're not, these are not the blanket, still, wait, 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 even, even our, our, our even our. Even our young players, before they want fucking anything, they still fucking throw two fucking managers under the bus. Just because they're young, that doesn't mean that's going to keep their mouth shut. And just Actually, you're order. wrong because there's the older players wrong. that threw the... No, you are wrong. No, 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 no. Even Lampard the young was ones... thrown by the, uh, under the bus by the older players. No, no, but why would we be in such a shit mood after a shit, a shit like form when, before Tuchel got sacked? Because the young because players Tuchel got sick requested... of the way that we played. No, no. Yeah, no. Because they... Be... Because the way we played, they didn't like it, man. There was like a bunch of fucking articles about it. How to yes, fill out I agree a lot with of you. Players. But which okay. ones are they? Are they are young players or are they the older players? No, it's what it was. Harvard. It was. It was rumored. It was Harvard. It was Mount. It wasn't Harvard. It was with the way we played. Yes, it was. Yes, it, it was. It was Werner, and if you look, Lukaku, Ziyech. What? No, was that lying? No, those no, are the no, players. It was, the, it's literally. What it, it was. It was Havertz as well. It was the whole. It was the youth. The youth didn't like him because of the it way we the played. So you can't just say, oh, just because the youth, they're going to keep their mouth shut. And they, these are, uh, like, actually, not, the youth anyway, are the uh, ones who are, who, are, who are least... Who, are least, who, like, fucking who understand what I tried to say, understand what I tried to say. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, for the... It's not about the players. It's about the manager. That's what I'm Bro, trying I, to say. For the Harry Potter's sakes, I want him to do whatever he needs, even if it's include the oldest players to be around 25. For but his benefits. Uh, you're right. But it, it doesn't just come down to age. I think it comes yeah. down to mentality. Yep. mentality. Because like when you yeah. think about it, like it's the one, it's the players that control the dressing room. He that can have sign a 28 or 29 year old. So you can have a player name. that's like 23 that, he doesn't that need has to control. Of, to like Mason Mount has name. control of the dressing room. But that's what that, I'm right? trying to say. Well, I don't see your name, uh, the guy that's saying. I'm it's, trying to I'm. Tr you see, I don't make a difference between what you, what Kai said. When Kai say, uh, Kai saying, we need established players. He doesn't say about established player the 29 that nobody heard of. That's not what he's saying. What he's saying is it's exactly what I'm saying. It's the players established like Neymar. He like look, he almost had erections when we linked to ne to Neymar. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like that's how excited he for him, established players are that kind of players already known for the world. So he can buy a jersey and show off in the Prague okay, with so the jersey's name on it. Okay, that's what it. It. You get it? That's the kind of established no, no, players. No, no, I understand, no, I understand no, what you're saying, no, that no, there is no, 29 no, years no, old, for no, example. If, if that you're quiet speak, person doesn't argue. If you're argue. going to speak in my name, speak in my I name. I just properly. did. Because the reason, the reason I want somebody like Neymar is because I see the standard of Chelsea right now as far as quality. Not as far as, I don't give a fuck about your age. If you're good, yeah, but Mason Mount and Harvest are not the fucking answer either. It shows that we are 8th and ninth before two managers got set. So the reality is, no, but let me finish my fucking point. I hate when people speak in my name and then they don't let me finish my point, yeah? The reason somebody like Neymar excites me because I do believe this team need discipline and they do need like that type of players who can turn something out of nothing. It doesn't have to be Neymar. It could be Liao. And even said that I prefer Liao over somebody like Neymar. But I want a player who can do something out of nothing because at the moment right now at Chelsea, the quality of players... How old is Liao? So the quality of players is shit. So does the quality of players that can do something out of nothing? How old is Liao? Do we have that at Chelsea? Do you have, I, I'm sure you're the one of the, those... Please tell me, how old is Liao? Mount is his generational player, man. What? No, 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 no. I don't how old is Liao? too old to stun any of the players. I can't hear you, Alex, because this guy keeps fucking yapping from... Uh, well, you leave saying? the guy alone. Uh, how old is Liao? He's 23. 
but he's a very good player at the moment. I've never okay. said I don't get excited about players because of the because oh yeah they're established player. No, because I see the talent in them. I see the talent in Neymar because I watched him very good for Brazil. But my issue isn't I'm not like the kind of person who focus on the age. I focus on the talent of the player, and I do think this Chelsea teams miss a lot of quality as far as the it players, especially in attack and midfield. Stars. Exactly. Nobody's That's looking for the point. Star. You're looking is, is for Leo the biggest star? name on the you're Twitter account. Name. You're, exactly. you're, you're, looking looking you're looking for the biggest no, name around. I'm not looking for the biggest you around. You're putting, you're putting like. stuff in my mouth. It's not true, man. I'm not looking well, for the biggest No, no, no. I do. Hold on a second. Hold that. Nobody's putting nothing in your mouth. Is Leo not a star? He's a top five. He's a top five link player to anybody right now. Okay, because he's a star. He's a very good player. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That but you look for those tell, players. No, no, no. You said you said that I'm looking. The, the reason I'm excited about Neymar is because he's established. No, I'm, I'm look. I'm excited about Neymar because I think he would bring something to this Chelsea because of his ability as a football player. Something that this team lacks. It's not we because he's Neymar and he's amazing and his What's name is big. What's the difference between Liao and Neymar at this specific point? Like if Liao was younger. It, Liao was younger. Okay, uh, but does both Liao bring won everything. Does Liao won and uh, everything? He hasn't, but he won. He won. Uh, that's my point. Syria. What I'm trying he to tell Syria. you. Look, look. I, I, that's a good thing. What I'm trying to tell you again and again. I'm not saying that this is what Harry Potter needs. What I'm trying to say is egos of the players, specific players, could be jeopardizing uh, uh, Harry Potter's strategy for the whole 25 man squad. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That this no. Liao, it's not that because. Liao, you can take a risk on Liao. He's young. That's number one. Mm -hmm. He hasn't won everything yet. So for him, it's going to be that first. That's the risk you can take on the established players, like you said, with the talent, right? He has a talent. He doesn't always show the talent because he plays for the counter-attacking team. So he, it, there's a room to improve for Liao. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to bring Liao to, uh, to Harry Potter... That's the progress that Liao can take on himself and say, you know what? If Potter's young manager, he can bring that young talent of Liao to the next level. That's what kind of signings I want Harry Potter to get. I don't want him to get established. I jump with that with Ronaldo before because I thought that we need to save everything we can to save the championship league this season. But yeah. I understood that that's not going to happen. Because Parra does not try to fix that this season to save the top four under any circumstances. He's not too cool. I need to make a divorce permanent. So what happens from now on, if we get in that kind of manager, what I want for him, get the signings with no egos, with the names that actually can have something driven for. Leao is a football young player that wants to win stuff. So if Harry Potter gets him, he needs to show him. That he I've can never, win I've something. I never disagreed with anything. I disagreed with the fact that you said that I'm excited about Neymar because he's an established player. No, I'm excited about Neymar because of his quality as a footballer. That's what I'm excited about Neymar. Because when you get used to player like Mason Mount and how would you take Neymar limited. right now at Chelsea? Yes, I would. Yes, I fucking would in a heartbeat because I think we and do. That's need what I'm saying. I would something. take it. I would take it based on what I used to think about it before. But if I want. If I want Harry Potter to succeed in the next four uh, four years, and what I think, what I try to do, I will actually do not want him there for But one particular reason. What I just accept, not because I don't think Neymar will do wonders at Chelsea, not because of that. I But just think because of the man who's the manager, and mm -hmm. what's the next five year, ten year project is. And Neymar, I think he will actually, and Ronaldo. I'll take my L on it from the previous conversation. It will yeah. actually not benefit Chelsea in the long run. That's my personal opinion. Yeah, but but see, that's why I disagree with you. I don't think that Chelsea should that's should, fine. Uh, should start and finish based on what what uh, Potter wants. Because I don't, no, I think right, he's not. Like, sorry, I think he's sorry, not established I, I enough for us to put that. all our eggs in his basket. You know what I mean? That's my. I don't opinion. disagree with that. that but statement. Let's let's just say this. Because are, are, are we in a position to attract like the world's top talent right now? If we. See, that's that's where that's established where my, talent, established talent. That's proper I think we, I think we can, I think as a, as a Chelsea, as a football club, I think we can attract a lot of good players. I think a lot of people like, underestimate what, 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 our what, ability. What, what, okay, what so you think Neymar would come to Chelsea 
if we offered him the right amount, yes. Just the fact that he can play in the Champions League, I think he would. Okay. I mean, right. sorry, play in the Premier League. The fact that he can play in the Premier League, he would. Because he already won no, the no, Champions no. League. I, I, I think he will come. <laughs> I, it, don't get me don't get me wrong. I think he will come if it will be option for him to come. Yeah, I, I I think you don't understand what I'm trying to say. The long what I mean no, in the long run. I understand what you're trying to say, but what we're gonna win in uh, what we're gonna do with Potter in the long run, right? So in order for him to uh, see no, the no, no. what will that. happen to the players like to uh, like in Kuku, like Liao if Neymar is there. Yeah, but we still need. A, I, I believe that we need experience in this team, man. We can't just have it all but, kids. But but I understand. Yeah, let's just. I look. Uh, I don't think Neymar is the leader. Not at all. He has no not at all for me exactly whatsoever. Vinicius Junior think... will have a better career than Neymar. I just, I just that's all, if it's unpopular. I'm very sorry if I've ruffled. No, no, no. Seven. It's not unpopular. I'm I sorry. think he's. The way he came from, the way he came to Barcelona, and the, the, when he left Barcelona, I thought that kid is actually um, has a mentality to do something. But then, some, hear I, I hear myself uh, echo. Yeah, it was fat. I was just putting him on mute. No, I was so, no, I was in a gas station. I just finished my. No, no, no! That was an that was an echo while you were. Oh, talking, thanks for so. the up, up, update on your shopping uh, finish. Hey, shopping hey, screen, hey, bro. Give on Christmas. Go on, bro. Yeah, it's Christmas, man. I don't need to shop food. Food's gonna be cost on Christmas. Christmas is twenty-two. It's yeah. Christmas in three days. Yeah, but he's getting, he's getting ready. He's getting ready. He's getting ready, getting ready Alex. Alex well, what did you get? I know. Alex, like, uh, Alex, did you get your Grinch in it? So, I am a. So, this guy said. This guy said about. About being brisket and shortage, so I think I'm getting. Are both. you a Santa Claus then? I didn't say anything about brisket. I said about steak, bro. No, it, it's a, it's basically it's a different kind of steak that you normally use it because it's marinated. Brisket steak. and steak are not even the same cut of meat, bro. Shame on you, bro. Shame on you, oh, man. Okay. I, I didn't say steak and brisket in the same of category. Galib, this is exactly a good point. Brisket Galib. and ribeye. I said brisket and ribeye. I love brisket, but it's not the same. Right? Um, big up, big up, President Jafar saying that's a highly hyperbolic statement. I think that was about Couch saying um, Chelsea's. I don't, um, I don't remember Chelsea. what I said anymore. That was about <laughs> yeah, likening yeah. Chelsea to Dortmund in the long term. Oh, fair. Okay. But yeah, big up yourself, Jafar. Appreciate that. Exactly. Fatour is Fatour is actually a Muslim. So how he he celebrated Christmas? Like uh, no, I don't celebrate Christmas. Number one, anymore. number two, you do realize every shops in. In all around UK, it's gonna be closed on Christmas Day. So that's why I'm getting. So that's why I'm shopping. All day. Yeah. Oh, so hold that. that. Whoever called me Grinch, I was Wait, just. Wait, how long have you been living in England, Lewis? I'm taking a piss. I'm taking a piss. I'm taking a piss. I wouldn't be surprised as there are pork chops over, over there. Pork chops over there and that. And that. Hey. <laughs> What's the difference? Is there, is there a bigger sin to eat pork chops or drink alcohol? What's the biggest sin? Yeah, Alex. Now, bacon, bacon wrapped honey hey, glazed ham. <laughs> no, no, what? Are, I'm just asking the question. Alex, what? you already escaped cancellation you know. twice this stream, bro. Don't no, I'm. Time, uh, this is direct. This is a good. Uh, uh, Galib put a good uh, comment. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. Do you remember those things between him and Mbappe? Like, why would we want to do with, with if he can't like, just because let it go and it's the floor, it. man. Yeah, but it's 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 more than just Neymar though. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. We're it, talking about it, like whether or not this these types. We're of just players. using Neymar as a as an example, but yeah. it's more than just that. Exactly, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, guys. Big up, OG. Big up, my guy. Go Take go care. Da, 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 da. Are we all ready uh, for December twenty seventh? Game on, Chelsea, Bournemouth. Game Bro, we're gonna win. There's a game going win. on now. Hopefully, we're we're gonna game's win. going on today. We don't have the virus anymore. We're gonna win, man. I'm telling you. Game on. Oh yeah, it's Liverpool C tonight. Yeah, Liverpool. Yeah, Is it really? Yeah. Could it be nice? Yeah, it's a friendly, no. Rational. City no, versus Carabao Cup. Cup. City, uh, Liverpool, three points. If we beat back. City, that would have been out. Is good. Oh out. wow! Is it a real? Is it a, a professional game? Or is it, it's not a friendly. Right? Yes, Carabao Cup. Cup game. Semi final. Yeah, League Cup. League Cup. Nah, last sixteen. Oh, no. Last sixteen. Last okay. 16. So it's gonna be a good game then. 
Yes, sir. Well, City have like nine or ten first team players out. That Don't doesn't mean shit, bro. Hey, even, even, even why? Why rest at home against Salah, man? Why rest at home against Salah? Salah's back. Yeah. Everyone, hey, everyone's fit. I'm ready. I can't wait, man. What time is it? Club football's back. Yeah, all 13 fans of uh, uh, City are going to be present at game. <laughs> all 13 of them. And Pep is going to beg them to come and please come to the next home. I know, it's at Anfield. No, it's at Etihad. Oh, oh shit, it's at the Etihad. I thought it was at Etihad. Empty oh, so we would have had Liverpool at home. Damn it. Empty head, oh, well. uh, Big Ron says who Chelsea got in the League Cup. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, dickhead. Can oh, I can yeah, I say yeah. you're not we did it. I, I'm so happy we drew City at this uh next round of FA Cup too. Yeah, get up. Uh, yeah. Hey, if we if we go Trust through, you. we've knocked out the favorites. So it's yeah, a win win. Hey man, win. we don't go back to Wembley again for the box park, bro. Allow it. Well, what, why is box what? park so stuck in your head, man? Fatour, Fatour is such a is a is a, you're an NPC, Fatour. I love you, but you're an NPC, yeah. NPC bro. Yeah, yeah you're no. an NPC. Hey, this is hey, not look, cute. Hey, look, <laughs> let's not get over Enzo, man. Look, look, you do realize you get kicked out of box park last time. Did you talk about there. Enzo? Link Chelsea to uh, Chelsea to Enzo. Um, Honey, somebody said it. it. I, I saw it on Twitter earlier. I didn't know I how that. how strong the uh, hey, my... links are. 100 million, the rejected um, 100 million from a, a non club. Oh, yeah, fuck off. 100 million, you Enzo, can get fuck that, man. You can you, literally, Record man. France, Portugal. France is full of good midfielders. You can Record get three Portugal of them. Says at Chelsea the are one of the clubs interested in Enzo Fernandez. It's such, <clears throat> such a pointless. Do we guys, know what, what, do you guys, what do you guys think about Kamavinga in the, in the world? Oh, Cup? I like that player. I do like he plays the left back, so he was sh- he didn't do any he, he didn't play in his position. Oh, so I love really... Kamavenga, man. I like that. No, I, sure I, many, I, I hasn't. I love Shomeni. Sure Shomeni, man. I thought Shomeni sure was good. Yeah, but Shomeni is Real Madrid, man. There's no chance of us signing him. Man. So Where's Kamavenga? Kamavenga, Kamavenga, we can sign him because he plays he plays for a shit club, man. We can buy him. It's Kamavenga. 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 Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Wait, come on, Vingas, I'm going to do it. Pointless. Dude, since don't, last don't, year. No, no, don't, don't tell me you did. I thought he's still at, I thought he's still at, there wasn't there. You are lying. You signed for Real Madrid before. Now you are an NPC now. Too many, a year before that. So, so this motherfucker signed all the good DMs just so we we don't sign them? Yeah, no shit. First of all, I got all of them. Bellingham. And they're going for Bellingham. No, I don't want Bellingham. is overrated, man. I don't want him, man. That's, that's the big misconception. Oh, I don't think he's finished project, but if you put him with Kamavenga and Tuchemini in that it's midfield, over. it's wraps. You know how Absolute you Kai, wraps. you know how Kai, you have erection when you hear name Neymar. That's how I think of three three midfielders. That's <laughs> because you love you love defensive football. If Alex could, there would be no goals, man. It'd just be that like is, players that is the ball out. You say saved man. off that class of Hold on a second. Hold on. You don't, Kai. You really don't what? rate that midfield. I, I, future, love like Cho, I love Cho many and I do love Kamavinga, but I, I'm not convinced about uh, Bellingham if he's worked that money. Is it because he's English? Honest, no, no, no. He, no, no, no. He, did not, he did not even know who's Kamavinga playing for. Bro, but, because yeah. I, I didn't know Real Madrid, but just fucking buys everybody they don't, they don't even need, man. But always do. <laughs> That's the thing. Exactly. I'm always supposed to know. They have, Alva- have Alverde, which is better than, uh, than uh, what's his name? Than Bellingham at this point. Yeah. But that's the future of Real Madrid. Nobody says that uh, uh, oh. his, his finished product. Nobody said that he's a finished product. Bellingham's nice. Dude. I'm sorry. That's like, that's it's an uncut diamond for me, man. Like, you yeah, but Kelch, like is, is it worth the, 100, the 130 they won from him? That's, that's well, my, yeah, the number's oh, stupid. But the, the start the, the conversation stupid, with the money and not start that he's overrated. You didn't no, say no. that. You said he's overrated. Yes. How, 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 do you how, do judge, how do you judge value, though? How do you judge the value based on, like, the... You judge the player based on the value, right? Age, Wait, but Kai, do you not rate the player, or do you think he's I rate the player, but for 130, that's why, that's why I is say how ba- for his... You see how bad he does yeah. now? I, I agree he's... with that. My thing is the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see the price. At least I blame my things for English. It will be nothing, bro. No, I don't give a fuck. No, 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 no. It will be... Do we, do we, 
Do you remember Mbappe's price tag? We, we shouldn't be spending uh, that much on one singular player right Wait, now in the position. Bro, no, come on, he's not an he's not an no, 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 no. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. First of all, he doesn't play Mbappe's position, and Mbappe's position, Mbappe's position is always going to be. Uh, higher price, ta price tag know, because it's offensive minded with goals. And stuff I understand. Like so, what do you reckon that Bellingham leaves for 80 million? I, do, I don't think there is a player on the planet Earth worth worth more than 50 mil. There's let's no, read, but that's not what up to me. Inflation, my bro. You understand? I, that, I know I... that. I know that there's no human being living. worth that much money, but 130 million. No, he's 19 years old. I don't care. Uh, he uh, is 19 years old. They can get his ACL turn. He's out for two, three years. That's 130 gone. Uh, it's not it's not out of your pocket now. Now you say um, it's all right now. It's okay. No, they're, that's they're, they're the conversation. No, that's the conversation. Chelsea I should, hate uh, that statement, man. Uh, I I, exactly. For not once, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. That's places. the reason Chelsea is in the wage bill that we are right now. The guy yeah, named Cho, you won't go into it, the you? guy named Cho, did not uh, got a head spin by Bayern Munich, and was about to go to Bayern Munich, and Chelsea did everything to working for the guy and gave him a hundred and twenty k a week salary. Who played three games after that? And all of a sudden, the players who really deserve that money live in the club because they could not get the raise. You see what I'm saying? So when you say no, so when you saying that the money is not out of pocket, it does comes eventually out of our pockets oh, because that yeah. wage can actually in get into somebody else's wage or somebody else's uh, price tag. For example, if we pay 130 million for Bellingham and we short on 20 to get Declan Rice or actual play that we need. It's a it's a, it's a stupid uh, statement to say that it's not that money. Yeah, but that's why I'm they sorry. will sit down and have the discussion of what, what fees will play. Okay, let, let me just pull it out there for the record. I'm not saying we should buy Jude Bellingham for 130 mil. Well, I'm trying to say that the price tag is the price tag. That's the valuation for the player. And if that's what if that's that's what the price of cheese is, that's, that's the price a, of cheese. Yeah, we've seen Jar Felix. We've seen Jar Felix go because... for at, we've we've seen Jar Felix go from at, um, from where did he go from? And, and how did that work out for him? Uh, and again, because... again, it didn't go well. But again, like that's just that's just a crack in it. That's the talent. He's still at this age now. We don't really care about the money he went for. So was that was that was, that was that a good it's ROI a... for Atletico Madrid? Was that a good ROI no, for but, Atletico Madrid? No, you could argue that. So, didn't work so, out for him, so what do you say? Money doesn't is, money doesn't mean anything. Doesn't that shut down no. the, your your argument that the value is not important? No, but what I'm trying to say if is the example you gave is absolutely about the ta no, no, but I'm saying I'm saying that like, the money is not a thing with Drew Bellingham. I mean, I think he is feasible for that price tag. He is of an age where in two, three years, if he continues the trajectory he's on, we will forget about it. We'll be talking that like he's even worth more than the 130 right, million what if it, what wherever. If that's is a he, big risk, though. That's a huge anything risk. Anything people said about Sancho and look at Sancho at United and no, 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 can no, you admit no, that that's a huge risk, though? Me. I'm sorry, I don't exactly. know your name. Yeah, it, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. So, I'm so not, not are we in a position? But, are we in a position to take those types of risks right now? I'm on the opinion that I'm, Chelsea I will, I'm, I will have to be a hundred percent accurate on all of their signings. I will right not now buy you for the first team. hundred and thirty million. A hundred percent accurate. You can't take any more shorts anywhere. We no, can't, no, I, we can't be making any more mistakes with more personnel for the next two years. Okay, okay. Look at the look at it this way: when you invest such a big money, let's let's say hundred, just for easy math. That's Romaj. He's a Romaj. No, 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 no. Hear me, hear me out for a second. If we like buy him for hundred mil for a second, he's nineteen years old. Chelsea buys him for whatever. You know, based on what we said that. Chelsea is not the final destination for any player. So when he eventually wants to leave, we're not the club yet. We're building that legacy, but we're not yet. So if he leaves, do you think that we can ask 200 mil back? Because that's how you actually value the player on resale value. When you put that money, you put it on the resale value, not on the break even. We bought Hazard for 40, which was mad at that point. We sold them for 150, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's the investment you're looking for for mm -hmm. a specific thing when you buy a young player. If we buy him for 100 or 130, what was his actual price gonna be if he reaches his potential? Then 
Yeah, but okay. It depends but on the that, market. That's depend the on the inflation. That's, that's how the market is. Like if he gives the us... money that was spent from for Hazard in 2012, if we were equivalent to 2022, I'm sure it will be higher than what it was. It, that's just how it is. That's just the value. We, we right. when we ever think that we're going to see 130 million pounds for a 19 year old footballer. Oh my God, the world has gone crazy if you said if you said that in 2005. You what? You 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 probably faint uttering those words. But that's just how the market goes. That's why I believe that the, the club that Bellingham goes to will be have to be the right one for him. And I I I, I would love him at Chelsea, but I just I, think no, where we are going. That's not what I'm saying. There is a them. position on the field that a marketable position, and the midfield is not. But there's, there's, talent, there's talent, you know. So uh, he, well, he, he I actually wrong because Chimene, they just paid a hundred mil for to Chemeni. So yeah, you know, he's in that yeah, of, I've, of yeah, that you, talent. You know, I'm trying to say. So I think that is where they will, they will offer it to him. Come and play. You are the future. You three, like you met, like we just mentioned. Now him to Chemeni and Kamavinga at the Los Bancos, killing it for the next 10 to 15 years. I really see that happening. I even see that. Of, I do, I do, I do see that. Like, and I think that threat. is the best, I think that is the best place for That's, him. I mean, no, for him, if I was bailing him, I will not join uh, If he's going to be a starter for the next, for the next 15 years, just them three. He's not going to be a starter for the next two, oh, okay. three years at uh, Real Madrid okay. because there's, right, uh, yeah. first of all, that I think is. Modric will stay one more year. And oh, I think, what's his name? Uh, they have Avardi, who's actually better than Bellingham at this point. I thought he's a right mid now. But, I thought he's a little right okay. mid now. <laughs> okay, look, look. If he goes, he has a high potential to be a starter at Real Madrid. But if I was, if if it was me, I'm and I'm in his position, I'll go to City. Ooh, that is Pep can, fair. Pep, no, Pep that can be, fair. Pep. I that don't like scary. Pep, He's but be Pep, he doesn't come here and do that with Hala. I don't good. like Pep, Spain, but so. Pep is really good at developing players better than anybody I know or mm. anybody managers before. Plus, he is not going to be automatic starter, which is best for Bellingham. If he's smart, he's 19 years old. If Bellingham wants to improve, his, that's how you look. If you look at the Bellingham, if you if Bellingham look at himself as Sanchez or uh, what's his name? That idiot from uh, Aston Villa. That oh my Grealish. God. Grealish. If he look into himself, is that kind of guy? A people like a human in in the sport, professional sport. He will not go. Uh, he will. He will not succeed. But if he will look as a final product, what he can be, he will sit on a bench, one year, and he will learn from one of the best midfielders out there right now, which is KDB. What's his position? Yeah. And what is, uh, what's his the G- German guy uh, over there? What's his Gundogan. name? Gundogan. 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 He's going to be replaced between those. Position? No, he's definitely okay. not defensive midfield. But okay. he can be in that that eight slash higher midfield, box to box, which I think Bellingham is the best position. He's box to box. He is actually really, the reason why I wanted him, Chelsea, he's really good creatively. His mm. passing in the final mm. third was Mwah. that kid is good. I'm just saying, I just hope that young kid does not kill his de- de- uh, determination by going to the wrong club and accept that he is in the long run, not the short term fix. He needs to know that whoever he goes next, the next couple of years is not his last couple of it years. Has to be the right it's one. just yeah. a yeah. beginning of his career. Or stay at Dortmund. Or stay at Dortmund. Stay at Dortmund for another three years. For, no, Master stay Rush. for another year or two. He will lose value that's if he stays true, for another three years. He will lose value. It doesn't, it doesn't matter no. he'll lose value. No. Value does not go based on what kind of player he is. Value goes based on the he'll contract. Mm. Yeah. The link of the contract. Anyway. What's his contract saying? How long has he got? Three years, I think. I think he's got 22, two years. I don't know. Two or three. 2025. I will not go to Bayern, Ram. There's no, no ceiling at Bayern. And you could stay Bayern, for a year yeah. or two. Bayern is a, such a club. <clears throat> like, I swear, man, that that Germany... You will never leave. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that Germany league, the Germany league is so, so once left-sided, like one team and nothing else. It's just sad. There's no competition in that league. None. Either Bayern Munich or nobody, and everybody else. Just one team uh, league. 
He needs to go to a club where he can he, he can Look, leave. Kimmich, he, Kimmich is better than Bellingham. Hands right on, now, yeah. The only the, not the, final product. the only clubs in England where I feel he can go to in England is Man City and Liverpool. That is the only team. I actually I actually think he has uh, a Liverpool better died, chance. Liverpool I actually Liverpool I actually man. think he has a better chance of coming to Chelsea than Liverpool. <laughs> If really Klopp gets his hands yeah. on Bellingham, I feel everything's Look, coming. No, 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 no. Let me ask you. Bellingham, Liverpool is for sale, right? I had yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So everybody agree Liverpool for sale. So okay. mm-hmm. why would Liverpool pay a hundred million for player owner? Why would owner <laughs> okay. pay a hundred million for player okay. when will that improve the bid for Liverpool? Will that improve the price of Liverpool team? Well, no, yeah, no. Improve, the improve the no, team. Improve the team. Maybe it will improve the team. He is not well, looking to improve the team. Will the that club. improve the price of the uh, of the club? Well, because he would raise the value of the club. Right? He would raise the value of the club. You don't yeah, so how, no, no, how much? So, hold on a second. So you saying you saying, for example, if the club if club is for four million four billion right now, if club mm-hmm. is for sale for four billion, and they buy Bellingham, they could sell for four four billion and hundred and fifty mil. No, I think that's debatable. I think that's debatable. I think, okay, I don't think it's going to be. I don't, I don't think see it's going to be. That, I don't think it's going to be a I dollar think, from dollar, think dollar improvement. But I do believe that, like, if you uh, if your squad is now worth a certain amount, you can't sell it for that, right? So, like, I don't think so. I don't know if it's a dollar for dollar thing. I don't know if you can I, say I, 150 I, but million. Yeah. Million no, no, no. I what think I'm the point about. is, it's not the an investment is, that someone's going to make on their way out. Yes, on the way out. Fair. That's what okay, I, yeah, I exactly, that. Lewis. I had, That's I had what that. I tried to say. I why had, would they? That. Why would they make a hundred fifty million? Let's say hundred fifty million, a hundred hundred fifty million investment when they know they're about to sell it. Let the other I mean, owners make, make that. For the past five years, that would be their statement signing. I see that. They've never it's done it. In the, in the past it how quick it is. Sorry, Rodrigo. And the worst thing for Liverpool, Man United going for sell at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, a statement <clears throat> signing for Liverpool when they've signed um, Van Dijk, he revolutionised their defence. So the only way I see this could work is if Bellingham revolutionised their midfield and it has such an impact where they go into challenge consistently. But- it's not then that. It's because it the, the owners are on the way out. It doesn't matter. The owners are on the way out. If the owners were still here, fair enough. But because they're going, so they have to wait until they sell the club. Maybe the new owners, their marquee signing would be Bellingham. I can see that. If they, they sell the club, mm. um, say, next season, and then in the summer, say they get the Qataris or Saudis, then, yeah, 100%, the, the marquee signing would be here. Yeah, I, exactly. I will see that kind of signing if the new owners come in already. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. So, so if Chelsea won Bellingham, we have to get him like, like this summer. <laughs> what? Oh, well, well, I have to see. I thought Liverpool would be the f- closest bet, but I understand Alex's point. Like, I just, I just, no, no, no. I, I'm always can be, I always can be proved wrong. I'm not Kai. I, uh, I don't. I'm not a, like a successful business. What a low blow, bro. What a low blow. Right, that was a. Look at me, bro. What a, what a Netflix, I don't, Netflix I don't eat steak. I don't uh, like. I share my Netflix passwords with because you have too many kids, Alex. That's why, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. But you know what I'm saying? It's just the logic for me. That's the only logic I think the reason why Liverpool wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? That's the only logic I can make. Uh, if he still can end up at Liverpool, I'm just saying that's the only logic I f- think I can make. And Bowley could be because the kid is in Bowley's re- uh, uh, like a, uh, how you say, uh, age range and the price range. Because Bowley is still looking for that key signing. Remember that. He's never made that key signing yet. Not yet. And for me, he looks like he actually tried to build England national team because we're going for rice. <laughs> At some point, we're looking for Pickford. Uh, Pickford, remember that? Then we yeah. <laughs> that Gordon we're... kid from Everton. <laughs> like Gordon, for, like literally, we are looking to build the England national team. I don't know. But there's the players over there that actually, like Ram said, there is the players that actually in a better not better players way higher in uh, development 
than Bellingham at this point. There's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh, Galip said that, uh, what's his name? That uh, Bu- uh, Bundesliga player bl- plays for Bayern Munich. He's in the higher Musiata. development yeah. uh, than what's his name? Than uh, other players are, than Bellingham is. But that doesn't take away from Bellingham how talented the kid is. And I think he's talented, not because he only plays, because I actually watched him for England and he played against defensive physical teams. I'm sorry, but I play with a couple of African players. They're physical players. They're really tied to you. They don't, they don't know what the... Uh, when you play in there against African players and uh, Sunday leagues, they're not the one that respects six feet COVID distance between you when you receive the ball. They like right here <laughs> beside you, like breathing yeah. in your neck. And when they go, uh, when they go challenge for the ball, they saying that they reaching the ball with their toes, but the knees are hitting behind it. You know what I'm saying? They really physical. They really close to you. So when I saw how they played against uh, Kulibali's team, Senegal. I I actually think that he actually ready to be going to more physical league, more uh, how you what, say. What? It. What That's do you guys think it. about us letting Arsenal uh, sign Modric without any challenge? I think this guy is a talented kid from uh, Shakhtar. No, he's and, not. And no one is ready for him. No, he's not. He's a bum. Is he not? He's yeah, a, a PR bum. PR 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 All right. Uh, you PR guys, PR I'll catch you guys in a bit. Lewis, big up, big up, you guys. See you, man. Yes, peace, man. Okay, he bro. is... He said, he, I watch him in Champions League. He, he looks good. Yeah. Watch the teams he, that he played against. He's kicking. He's literally counterattacking, kicking. He's like Leo Wolf, no talent. Oh. If you will look at his, like, I'm serious. If you will look at his compilation, he is not that, he is not that player. He's not. Yeah, you I don't know see. much about him myself, so I can't really comment, but. When I, I watched him against comps that I did see didn't didn't amaze me. I'm just gonna say that the comps I say he's I not. Didn't amaze he's me. not. He pays. He pays. He kicks the ball and chases it right after him. He doesn't have that. Uh, and he, I don't think he's a good finisher to play in that kind of position. I don't think he's a good uh, finisher. I, I, I thought he, he is a speedy as guy, as well. but that's all the, uh, the only thing he has. His team of Werner. He, is he not like the guy from Napoli? You know, the winger Napoli? No. <laughs> Are you talking about the Georgian guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. The Georgian. No. Nah, he's on a different realm. That, that <laughs> kid from Napoli. That kid from Napoli. Kovarch. Oh, What's come on. Kovarch? Shall we yeah, 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 yeah. No. Did you see what he did to Liverpool in the Champions League? He, he was uh, like a... <laughs> Yeah, Hivacha is creator. The, that guy, he's Tim Werner. I promise you, he looks like Tim Werner to me. And Ukrainian league is not good lately. So. Well, they can't really play. They can. We play in Poland. What's the problem in Poland? Mm. Mm. Anyway. I don't think he's that good. I mean, if I get him for good price, it's a good risk. He's a young player. Mm. But I don't think it's something special over there. Did anybody else notice that nobody else goes for him, just Arsenal? Because, yeah, he, that's ac- because he actually praised Arsenal? That's how it came up. He said that he the reason why he would love to go. Nobody asked him. You know who asked him about it? Do you know how mm. he became? Zinchenko's wife, she's a newspaper. Uh, she's a news uh, columnist. So she went and he, she interviewed him at the, uh, at, the, at the club. And she asked him the questions. He's like, oh, I always liked Arsenal. I always loved Arsenal. And his wife was like, well, my, my husband uh, work, uh, plays for Arsenal. And here, boom, he, he's linked to Arsenal. Apparently, they're rejecting like 50 million pounds. 60, 60. More. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can hold that. Oh, I completely forgot. Um, sh- yeah, right. she's oh. uh, she's not a newspaper, she works at the she's a news what how you news anchor, news? news anchor, yeah, something new. She works at the news. She she had the interview with him, that's how he actually linked 
to Arsenal. He ain't linked to nobody else. Journalist, there we go. If they get him for a hundred million. That's craziness. It'll, it has to be lower than that. Well, if we, if we talk about fifty or sixty mil, still fifty, sixty, yeah. man. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. For 50, like... 60, is that how much Liao is going? No, Liao is 120. Yeah, well, yeah that's what we're saying. But, oh, but, he's but, real life. but not with the contract, because the contract yeah, is no. running out. They're not going to sell him as much, no way. Yeah, uh, I think he's actually at the last year contract, so I don't think he's they can ask for that kind of money. Unless no. he's preparing to stay less than go on free. But I actually think that we're actually gonna sell him because we're How many be of you guys up. think we're gonna get Leo? Mm. We no, I think he's gonna uh, sign. I, think he's I don't think a little bit. I don't think uh, unless Sterling leaves, which I have a big, big assumptions either Sterling or Auba goes in the summer. I could see uh, yeah, him being an Auba replacement. I don't know. I think we've got him locked in because of those wages. Yeah. Nah. And how old is he? He's like twenty eight, right? Sterling. Sterling's not going anywhere. <laughs> 27, I want, 26, I, I Sterling proved me wrong that he can play better. He's more of the football player than I, I used to think of him. But for me, he needs to play with the strongest center forward. Absolutely. Yep. I Absolutely. just think he needs to play with the stronger center forward in front of him. I just think and he needs to play with more, more attack-minded players. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying, what, play, I, I, don't want him, I don't want him on the left. I want him more in the center, right beside the striker. Mm. Because he has a better touch. A couple times. He did play him there. That's, how, that's yeah. when he was scoring, when Tuchel was playing him. Tuchel did not play oh, him on Tuchel, left completely. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was playing him in the middle, right beside Obama Young. And he... He's the only one that could hold the ball for longer. Kai Havertz, it's like a freaking ball against the wall, you know. So, so, so with Leo, you guys, what I don't think he's a Chelsea. He's got one year left, right after this one, right? Like yeah. his actual expiration is twenty twenty four, right? Yeah. Uh, Does I, he have a release clause? I honestly I don't know. I know. Yeah, uh, no, but there's no such a thing as a release clause in Sp in Italy. We're just oh. asking for a price. So they oh, yeah, said yeah, that 120, yeah. but I don't think so. I think if we can get him for 70, that will be a decent deal. But I don't think he fits a Chelsea, actually. We have a good relationship with Milan, I think. they'll Because we signed in Kuku, that's why I don't think he... Because they fight for the same yeah. position. Yeah, that's my thinking as well. And um, whoever says not, that, whoever said really, that they really, can yeah. play in a different... Kuku I don't want to play in a different... And Kuku Again, playing different positions. Would play yeah. behind a striker, yeah, it's different. Liao yeah. is more of a winger, and Kuku can play. Like a yeah, and Kuku is like a, a second striker. striker. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of how I see Liao as well, to be honest. Second striker. Yeah, second striker. I don't winger, see him man. center forward either. Even yeah, if he Liao plays up on, 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 on wing, on a wing. Yeah, yeah Liao is better, yeah. winger, Liao yeah. was better yeah. on the left than in Kuku on the left, and then uh, 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 Uba on the left. This yeah, me. This is what I think Chelsea wants to do. I think they want and Kuku. Uh, to be like kind of like a, a false nine who drops deep, deep kind of, and then they're gonna give him like Liao and Sterling be, uh, around him. Oh, that's that what I think the Chelsea beautiful. attack will be. But the, that is all because, three of them that's what I think Chelsea left. wants to do, man. So, because you know these the players, second. these players so can interchange, play, kind of like what gonna... Liverpool was. was uh, yeah, 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 the... yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, but who's holding the ball if the ball goes directly to the forward? Which one of them? Yeah. Which, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I didn't ask rightly. Which one of them is gonna be a playing central forward in the starting position? Like I know you're saying that we can interchange, but what which one of them? Because but I, as a starting I point to false. Yeah, nine. but that's how that's how Potter does it, man. Like look at the, the way that Liverpool uh, City played before yeah. they got Holland. It's the same thing. Potter and how had, Liber uh, Liverpool had, uh, played with the, well what's the ball. Even with how Brighton played, really. Potter had well back yeah. to hold the ball. Yeah. The, the difference with City was City actually had uh, players that actually had brain cells, unlike this Chelsea team. They had players that can actually, you know, <laughs> they had brain cells. Like, oh you, could put, you could put Foden, Bernardo Silva. He even played, what's his name? Gundogan, Gundogan, false nine. I dare, I dare Kovacic to play false nine. He's, he's not going to do it. <laughs> actually, for me, I, no, 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 no. Uh, you got the wrong, wrong uh, person. But I see what you're saying. Is the better is the better is the forward players is the better when they hold the ball on the wider position better chance of them hold the ball on the wider position than in the middle 
because in the middle defense will always be on your back they not stretch wide so the wider players can hold the ball for the other players to come in you don't put their Kovacic or anybody else in those wide players my question is which of those players are going to be wide is it Liao is it Nkuku is it Sterling I don't want Sterling Liao, in there. Liao, Liao, Liao needs Liao to be in the middle if Sterling Liao, is on the left. <laughs> no, Liao, 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 and Sterling, right? Liao and Sterling. And the thing with, with Liao is Liao is very physical. He's a very strong guy. Yeah, he's You'll explosive. Probably see that when, he, when he played against us, like he can hold players as well. So I think it's more of like a system of like three interchanging forwards, which I think would be very good for us. If we can if we can build a good midfield that is solid with these guys on, the, press, on, the, the, on the transition, we will be a very good team. But the, the idea is if we can recruit all these guys, because I, I, I like I think that you you forgetting are, you're forgetting I mean, the big point of that. To have a players that interchange in the in the like the way Liverpool plays, you need to have midfielders that could switch I think play. We're fix that, and, Alex. Okay. You don't think well, we're gonna go for a midfielder soon? Well, we have fix to. Up the attack. It's just That's what the, type of midfielders, really. Exactly. We need rice, man. We need rice. Rice is not the player that's going to spread the ball wide positions. <laughs> well, not wide, but... The only thing he's going to spread is Mason Mount, bro. And I don't want that. I want that. <laughs> now, we need mid... If we're kind of play that sort of interchanging uh, forwards, we need a midfield that allows us to compensate that sort of style. We need a midfield that can hold their own two feet. We can't We can't play a normal midfield of a, a sitting DM, two eights, and then try to play a winger, second striker. It will not work. Like So we need a Look. solid midfield. My favorite player in the world, in the world, J Five, did that at uh, what his old club used to be? Napoli. Napoli. That's kind of midfielder we need. Oh, Kai, Before. big up. You yeah, see what man. I'm saying? It was nice talking to you what? guys. Take care. Enjoy the big uh, up, ma- Merry Christmas, see you, man. You guys, yeah? Merry Christmas, my guy. You see what I'm saying? Those passes that go quick on the left, quick on the right. Jorginho used to do them. Now he can't. Yeah. He never did it at Chelsea, by the way. He, he had attempted. Hamzik at Napoli. Yeah, you have you uh, you have those players that quick on the wings. What's his name? That uh, Italian 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 kid uh, guy that played uh, for Napoli. Really quick on the wings, short guy. Well, he's not uh, Lozano. Right? Lozano. Uh, what's his no, name? No, no, uh, Lozano. Oh, Italian, sir. No, no. It was Mertens and Insigne. And senior, in he's senior. Italian. In senior. Yeah, 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 yeah. And senior, you see what I'm saying? That kind of thing and which Matt- you're looking for, Liao and uh, uh, and Sterling. You know what I'm saying? No, not Sterling. Liao, Liao, that kind of player that needs to have uh, people saying he has a good pace. Pace is only work when you have the space for pace to use it. If you don't have a space, true, your pace is no needed. True. Very there's true. a diff- there's a two different pace uh, uh, things needs to be done, uh, needs to be understand. Pace is in the open field. That's what Tom uh, Rudiger said. Rudiger said there's not so uh, who's the fastest. Uh, he was asked who's the fastest in the club. He said Timo Werner on the takeoff, him on the long run. So there's a two different kinds of play uh, uh, players needs to be uh, Chelsea look for. If we're looking to play open field game. Liao needs space, which needs uh, 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 a lot of space for him. So hmm. if we're going to play those kind of I'm games, the then Liao. If we don't and we're going to have a low block or semi-low block, Liao is worthless. Or not worthless, I, worthless. But I, I wouldn't say know. worthless. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen, we haven't seen him. I, I haven't seen it. Exactly. I haven't yeah. seen him it's doing it. It's it. tough well, for him. Well, it, it also was a depends. bit dodgy when he plays at Portugal. Do you see that? Because Portugal, yeah. when they played, Leao did not have that much space. The passes exactly. weren't coming to him that quick. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So he will explode that uh, that uh, that space. So for me, I think we should stay away kind of against Leao and find the player that can actually come from the standpoint into the speed, that takeoff speed with the dribble with the dribbles that can actually back his speed. You see what I'm saying? Like Hazard player, like a tiny person that use his yeah. low gravity and stuff like that Macali- to beat the player from the same. Money, exactly, Ram. Macali- player like money. I love money, man. Mitoma, love money. Mitoma from Brighton. Kavincha can do that. Exactly. The guy that takes on the player from standing position. 
He has a pace, <coughs> but it's the explosiveness of the pace that what counts. Not when you already running into empty field. That's what Timo Werner. Yeah, you're right, hundred percent there. Yeah, Timo Werner's more off the ball. He's he he doesn't carry the ball. He doesn't run into players. He just. Yeah, run into players. No, no, no. Yeah, that kid, well, Russian kid, has it. Man, I'm, I'm going to Vancouver this this uh, this Christmas, but. Nice. I will see. Oh, really? Not really. Um, in Why? Life. It's a good ski. In laws, in laws, bro. In-laws. Oh, <laughs> love praise to see be it. with you. <laughs> you know, you know. So it's gonna be one of them. But anyhow, fellas, happy holidays, and uh, we'll see you guys. I guess Canada's in- getting this winter storm. Got, I don't right. know which oh, side. I'm of getting. It. I, I'm leaving on Christmas Eve, so I'm seeing crazy snow. Yeah, you. Yeah, snow. my my. I don't my even know if we're gonna be able to get out, but we'll have to. My see. My family lives in uh, Montreal, so yeah, we're about to get hit. Christmas Eve's gonna be wild, man, but. Anyhow, fellas, peace. big up, bro. See you, coach. We're gonna wrap up the stream anyway. We've been going for about yeah. two hours. So big up everybody that has locked in. We should be back tomorrow. There's more news starting to filter through, so I'm sure there'll be something to discuss. But yeah, big up everyone. <clears throat> if we don't see you then, but have a merry Christmas and all of that. Big up, enjoy.